That's a weird way of being like, I want to hang out with Taylor Swift. You know, the celebrations looked awesome in her box. That's why I wanted to hang out with Taylor Swift. Because the celebrations look so neat. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed. It's pretty easy to avoid, obviously, on the internet and everything. The Super Bowl was last night. Wow, I hate Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, but congratulations to them and Chiefs fans. They're clearly the best team right now, and nobody will ever beat them again. Yeah, and I, you know, I feel bad for um, the 49ers. Like, if you're a 49ers fan, that was brutal. You had a bunch of your best players get hurt over the course of the game, blew a lead, just a tough spot. But uh, congratulations to Taylor's boyfriend. You know, huge results for Taylor's boyfriend. I haven't seen the Deadpool trailer, although I'm kind of afraid. Like, we've reached the critical mass of people asking me if I've seen the Deadpool trailer to where I think there's something really heinous and crazy in the Deadpool trailer. Jayer, thank you for the eight months. Only here because you put Taylor Swift in the title. Who are you and what are you playing? Finally. It worked. Daniel, thank you for the 19 months. Celebrating 19 months, attending a Liga 1 match in Cusco. I... I it's like, oh, it's a cutoff. I can't read it. How am I, am I supposed to read it when the words aren't even there, man? There we go. Celebrating 19 months with attending a Liga 1 match in Cusco, Cienciano versus Sporting Cristal at a great time despite the Cusco team conceding a late goal to bottle the win. Shows that not only Zeke can bottle games. Thank you for that. That's touching. Tom, thank you for the 29 months. Eternal Optimus, thank you for the 22 months. Toffels, thank you for the prime. Jacques, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Enjoy your bacon and your emotes and all that nonsense. I appreciate it. At least you changed your mind about the blue card proposal. I did. I did. I heard some considered uh, explanations about how the blue card would be good or bad. Chill Zealous, thank you for the five months. Schmiebert, my dude. Congrats on your Twitch child. Thank you for the nine months. And I use the word leverage as much as Tony Romo. I think he overused it. I think he used it a lot because he was just talking about the concept of leverage a lot during the game. I think it's more that he was focusing on it than he was, like, overusing the word. Sandstorm, thank you for the 26 months. I also think he gets a ton of hate I for no reason. I Tony Romo's a pretty good broadcaster when it comes to American football. Chris, thank you for the 30 months. I appreciate it. Hey, we just spent $15 of Jeff Bezos' money. I mean, shoot. Big Monday. Big Monday. Yeah, I, 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 Tony Romo's good. He informs you. That's what he's there to do. Good luck with Saint at the end. Qualify for Europe. Come on, lads. Thank you, Scottish cow. Why does Bayern season end today? Because they got smacked by Leverkusen. They got smacked by Leverkusen. Romo ruined the game-winning call. I'm going to tell you this right now. Right now. Something that the world needs to hear. Who gives a shit? All Jim Nance was going to say was, and the Chiefs have won the Super Bowl title. So he just goes, and the Chiefs. And then Tony Romo, like, actually tells me something insightful. I don't have an issue with that. You know what I mean? Like, he just goes, and the Chiefs. And then, honestly, honestly... As somebody that's watched American football my entire life, what Tony Romo was saying in that moment about the touchdown that just won the team the Super Bowl, I didn't know. He broke that play down really well. Like, I didn't know it. Did I bet on the Chiefs? No. I actually don't bet, but I... I I, I what I said was I'm gonna root for the 49ers and I think the Chiefs are gonna win and the way the game played out was basically that <laughs> I yeah I'm, I'm gonna root for the 49ers but I think the Chiefs are gonna win uh, I can't believe we were watching the SpongeBob broadcast honestly probably would have been better don't you mean they won the world title I mean there's prob there's not a better American football team than than the Chiefs I I like I I think the it, you know 
I, I've never took issue with the whole world title thing. I think it's stupid in baseball now because you have, like, the World Baseball Classic that shows that, hey, like, you know, they're not the only ones. But in American football, who gives? Like, there isn't even a, there's not even, like, a fully professional league outside the U.S. It's the less Canada uh, that, that can play. Kinson, thank you for the three months. <laughs> like, I've got no problem, right, with them call like, you know, if if you if you play a sport like I mean, if you call the winner of the Gaelic Football League the world champions of Gaelic football that doesn't bother me at all not like not at all does not bother me I I can't play it do it I I will, I'll I'm going to be honest non-american people have the same couple of fixations around like American football or the Super Bowl or whatever they like to compare the Super Bowl to the World Cup final. For just. I don't know why. They just do. Maybe it's just because they like the flex on, like, you know, like, oh, see, ours is bigger. It's not like it's not a competition, right? Like, there's always so, like, every account. I saw it all yesterday. I was getting tagged in it a few times. They're like interviewing people that just spent $10,000 on a Super Bowl ticket and are 10 beers in. And they're like, what do you think is bigger, the Super Bowl or the World Cup final? If you like, if you thought it was the World Cup final, if the World Cup final was a bigger deal to you than the Super Bowl, why did you just spend $10,000 on the ticket to get into the stadium in the first place? So what do you expect the answer to be when you ask these people? what they think is a bigger deal for like uh, honestly also that's like the way americans typically answer that question is like what is a bigger deal to you basically and it, it's the super bowl I, now if you went to those same american people and you're like what do you think more people watch what do you think more people care about You get a lot more people that said the World Cup final than you'd think. But it's just something every year, man. It's just something that like like the like football Twitter just fixates on. You know, like, oh, they think that the Super Bowl is a bigger deal than the World Cup final. Look at these idiots. You know, like, whatever. I well, I forgot the original reason I was talking about that, but um, 85,000 people watched Portsmouth v. Sunderland a few years ago. You can't tell me the Super Bowl. See, you're, people just invent an argument to have with somebody. I'm not telling you the Super Bowl is bigger. I never said the Super Bowl is bigger. I'm not trying to convince you that the Super Bowl is bigger. I don't think that the Super Bowl is bigger. I don't. People just invent. They're like, just like literally, I this happened to me on Twitter today. Like, just because I'm American... People will just invent arguments to have with me. I, that's not what I'm saying. I don't care. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. It does not matter. Ooh, it, it does not matter. So who says the Sunderland until I die is coming tomorrow? I freaking love that. Yes. Eric Deluxe, thank you for the 10 months, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Winnicast, thank you for the 27 months. I have no joke for this month, but I went to bed before the Super Bowl. Ah, sad. You missed a... um. Missed a wonderful Dunkin' Donuts commercial. That was my favorite one. I, I know I'm not alone. That's like a really basic take. That and like all of the NFL teams that have bird mascots. Did you guys see that one? And they were all like literally pretending to be birds. Those are the two best commercials. Those are the two best commercials. Oh, the messy one was the messy one was good. I forgot about the Michelob Ultra Messy commercial. That was very good. But the bird one was really funny. And then the, the the Dunkin' Donuts one was also hilarious. Like, I was they just really high quality. Bring it back down tonight. Did I see the Kanye commercial? No. That dude didn't even play in the NFL and he has CTE. I don't know what happened there. The linebacker snapping his Achilles was incredibly... Yeah. Like... 49ers got screwed by injuries, brother. Dre Greenlaw tore his Achilles, it looked like, uh, running onto the field. Debo Samuel and and uh, George Kittle both got what looked like pretty serious injuries. They tried to play through them. So it's not going to get as much credit as you thought. But, like, 
Like it's not. For, unfortunately, they're not going to be like, oh, they didn't have Debo Samuel or George Kittle, two of their best players. Those those dudes were clearly extremely hurt for most of that game. Talk, talking about commercials is wild. Yeah, but Super Bowl commercials have taken on an aura of their own. Like that is where the best commercials on TV, at least in the U.S., every year are put, and so they become like really fun. And then of course you had Usher's halftime show, like fair. That's literally Usher. Um, yeah, I, I. The one thing I only know this because I go down Google rabbit holes. So I love, I freaking love Alicia Keys. She's awesome. Alicia Keys has been married to a guy named Swizz Beats for like a long time. And I was watching that like, Swizz, brother, Swizz. But not knowing how all like that industry works, like it was just kind of funny to watch. I was like, Swizz Beats is sitting somewhere like Jay-Z at the, uh, what was it, at the Grammys? Mr. Z, how do I get into American football if I don't want to watch the super long games and ads? Watch Red Zone. Uh, next season, just start watching Red Zone. That'll help get you into the sport. Um, Red Zone, seven hours of commercial free football. Freaking awesome invention. Something that you can't do with, like, uh, you know, soccer football. Because what it does is when a team is more likely to score, it cuts to that channel. So you're literally just watching the most uh, hype parts of each uh, game. Uh, if you're not into American football at all, going watching the Red Zone channel would be a really good way to to get yourself into it. Red Zone's goaded, yeah. Um, yeah, Ice Spice being in the booth. Didn't know she was that famous. I'm going to be completely honest with you. That was a bit of a surprise. But then I guess fair fair point is I don't know most of the people that were in Taylor Swift's booth. But, uh, you know, good good game. Shoot, it was the second ever overtime Super Bowl. It was a great game. Uh, both teams played like both teams played pretty well. I feel bad for the 49ers that like everybody got hurt and they ended up losing with such a close game. I think the 49ers, I, I feel like I, I'm the guy that ends up saying this sort of thing all the time. I think the 49ers were the better team. Uh, they just lost the game, but I do think they were the better team. They just had the, uh, the injuries and they, they missed a couple chances. They gave, uh, they gave Kansas city a free touchdown on that. They made the mistake on the punt. They like gave Kansas City the ball at the 15 yard line or whatever. Best advice would be avoid American football. Why? You know, I feel like the only solid argument to avoid watching American football is that it's terrible for your brain. And so watching it, you're endorsing, you know, putting a new generation of kids through like abusing their bodies. But that's probably the only fair argument. Like, I, that, that, that's basically it. Lyndon Rainey, thank you for the tier two. <laughs> The 39 months, brother. If so, UFC and boxing should be banned. I think the difference, Paco, between those situations is that yeah, boxing and UFC acknowledge it more. I, I, think, I think the big issue people have with it is the NFL really, really tries to insist it's not as big of a problem as it is. But that, my, uh, the only point I was trying to make is like just being like, well, the better plan is just to not get into the NFL. Who said you do whatever the hell you want, man? You want to get in the NFL? Do it. Watch NFL. Do you think if Moody had made the extra point, they win the Super Bowl? No, I mean, that changes the math so much, Pamptum. Uh, because a lot happened after that. And so you're, you're, you know, instead of kicking field goals, you're going for touchdowns and those sort, you know, so it, it, it's just a different game, but I don't think you can't blame Moody. You cannot. The San Francisco kicker, he hit two of the longest field goals in Super Bowl history. I know he got his kick blocked on the extra point, but you cannot blame that kid. He hit some unreal clutch kicks. That one that he hit uh, in, in regulation was dumb. Like, because if he misses that, the Chiefs have the ball near midfield and they just have to get like a first down and kick a field goal. Um, yeah. I, 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 you can't blame, I do, you cannot blame that kid. He hit two incredibly clutch field goals. Kelsey is more unlikable than Mahomes. No. Not to me, he ain't. That's because Mahomes is the top of the who I hate list for me. 
Patrick Mahomes is my most like the uh, probably the athlete I dislike the most for no real reason. If I met him in real life, I'd dap him up and I'd be like, "Wow, you're like really good," but he just annoys me from the way he carries himself to the way after every play, like. Obviously, we're all professionals here. The call is coming in, but after every single play, he looks over to the sideline and he's like, like he's some sort of impatient customer at a restaurant trying to flag the waitress over. Like, his brother's funny. His brother is a creep, dude. Do a little Google search. You know, certain athletes... For whatever reason, like, you just don't like... Patrick Mahomes is that guy for me. I just don't... I don't like the way he walks. Like, like when he's playing, you know, he just bothers me. I, like... Patrick Mahomes just bothers me. Uh, he he just does. But he he is like the best quarterback. He has it he, he, he right now the best quarterback. He has a chance to be the all-time best quarterback. Um but yeah, I I just dislike him. I can respect his game and just not like him. Yeah. I had that with Jack Wilshire. Everything. Yeah, certain people just like everything about him. You're like, "Dude, I just can't." I don't know. You could be a really solid dude. I don't care. I it just <laughs> it just bothers me. I'm just sitting here like, why is he why is he doing that? What is this? What is, what is he doing? They're gonna call the play, dude. You don't even have to do this. The guy calling the play is talking to your like to the microphone in your helmet, dude. Like to your freaking earpiece. And he's like not even looking. It's like somebody that just got out of church service bullying a Chili's waitress, like. Ma'am, would you like some more spinach artichoke dip? What other athletes do that for me? I don't really dislike a lot of athletes. What other athletes bother me? Uh, but I respect their game. Huh. What about you guys? Somebody said Jack Wilshire. What who is an athlete that you respect? like we're not trying to di like diss on the ability of athletes. Like we like they're clearly good. They've got game, but they just bother you. Ronaldo, LeBron, Draymond, fair. Djokovic, Joel Embiid, Victor Osevin, Trey, Trey Young, I get. Dude, Trey Young, I get. I get Trey Young. <laughs> Chase Elliott, Neymar, I totally get Neymar. CR7, I get. Messi, I can kind of understand too. Grayson Allen, obviously. Lewis Hamilton, Anthony Joshua, Clay Thompson, fair. Phil Foden, it's totally the haircut if, if you hate Phil Foden. Mbappe. Mbappe is an interesting shout out. Kevin Durant. Kevin, well, Kevin Durant's like a professional hater, you know. Angela Merkel nailed it. Deontay Wilder, Dak Prescott. Now we're getting into the weeds. Devin, Devin Booker, NBA player. Devin Booker does this for me. I don't care how good he is. He bothers me so much. I don't. I can't think of a good footballer example for me though. Zlatan, yeah, it's fair. Richarl Richarlison, dude. Richarlison. There's no hate in my heart. That's fair. Yeah, I know Devin Booker is an NBA player that I'm just like, I, you know, professional hater. I, I'm here. Professional. Vincent Abubakar. That's a, that's a nice deep track. Sergio Ramos. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Who do I just not like? Who am I just always naturally rooting against Anthony I'm always naturally rooting against Anthony he like Anthony is the like I was always like I'm a more meat and potatoes kind of guy right but Anthony is like all flash and no substance and that bothers me like because you have people like Neymar that are flash and substance but Anthony was just like I'm always just you know, there's just players you're like, I'm just naturally rooting against them. Like, just naturally rooting against them. Big Bear, thank you for the 25 months. 
What do you mean he has no? No, well, he is, he has flash. Have you ever watched him like dance and then give the ball away? Pickford, oh, Jordan, Jordan Bennington, Pickford, Garnacho. People saying Sterling are definitely Daily Mail subscribers. Nice. And um, I thought we were talking about actually good play. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. We're talking about actually good players. So actually, actually good player that bothers me. Hmm. I'm trying to think back a little bit. Actually good player that bothered me. Huh. Emmy Martinez. He's baiting it though. Emmy Martinez is baiting that in. Patrick Reed, the golfer. Everybody hates that guy though. Besides Joey Barton. Tony Tony Cruz. He seems very likable. Mello, I get. Mello is a classic example of that. Weird thing is I was kind of thinking Schweinsteiger. Right? I just saw somebody say that. He was just like annoying and you know, in the way that he would win. I, oh, dude, I I actually I don't know if I have Oh no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a sec. Give me wait. I'm on I'm on it. I'm on I'm on to something. I'm trying to find the core of it in my mind. I'm I'm trying I'm I'm hacking into my own subconscious to try and find the origin of what I'm trying to think of. Lewandowski because of his TikTok alone. Go Dean. John Joe Shelby, fair. Not, hmm. It's somebody on the Argentine team, but I'm not quite sure who. No, somebody said Bruno Fernandez earlier. No, it's like, it, it's just, it, it's just. I was rooting for Messi, but if Messi was not on that team, I don't think I could have hated a national team anymore. Otamendi, thank you. Nicholas Otamendi. Prof I am a professional hater. It's Otamendi. He's the core of it, is Otamendi. He embodies everything that bothered me about that team. Because it's not like, did Di Maria a little bit? Yeah. Did DePaul bother me a little bit? Yeah. Did Lautaro bother me a little bit? Yeah, but that's bullying at this point. Otamendi was just like, they're just very unlikable. They won the World Cup. They deserved it. I'm not on the train that they got gifted the World Cup with the penalties. They were deserved penalties. But Odomendi just embodies that, like, I'm going to talk so much trash. I'm going to hit you so hard that when you breathe on me, I'm going to cry for five minutes. Like that, in a nutshell, in one sentence, why do I not like the Argentine national team outside of, of Messi is the... I'm talking a ton of trash. I'm, you know, studs up in the ankle, but you breathe on me. And even though I've got sleeves of tattoos, I'm going to be rolling around on the ground like I just got shot in the leg by a 50 cal. Like that, that, <laughs> and Oda Mindy to me just is the heart of that. I was trying to trace it to like, where's the heart of that? And Oda Mindy is the heart of that. That's the heart of that. I, I'm not saying he's bad. Odomendi's obviously good. He's maybe he's managed to maintain his level a lot longer than I think a lot of people thought he would. Odomendi is Draymond Green and Messi is Curry. That's actually a very good comp. Michael Brad.
We're just having all these reason discussions. People are throwing names around like Philip Lom's an interesting one, but like you can be bothered by whoever. Christian Horner, he is an ornery guy. Yeah, I get that. But somebody just I I my my mental image is somebody just sitting there like frothing at the mouth, just like Michael Bradley enrages me. Like, <laughs> Like they weren't even paying attention to the rest of the conversation. They were just sitting there working themselves up into a lather about how much they don't like Michael Bradley. Just using the word enrages. Michael Bradley enrages me. No, Michael Bradley's hilarious. That dude scored one of the best goals I've ever seen in American score at the Azteca. And yet he is somehow also just such a choke. But he was also like a great captain. He's a very confusing player. James, oh, James Harden's easy. James Harden's probably the mo one of the most... Like, top of the list, you know. Jean Evans, thank you for gifting a sub, dude. Brazilian Fury, thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Signed, Jean Evans, thank you for gifting the sub to Michael Bradley, dude. If that's his actual account. Michael, I, you know, you're, you're a U.S. national team legend, but you just had a really unfortunate habit of just somehow popping up as the guy missing the big thing. Ramanel, thank you for the three months. I don't inherently hate floppers. Like, it's part of the game. I hate people that talk trash and then don't back it up, you know? Like, if you're talking a ton of smack, like, come on. Pat, you you started it. You, <laughs> you started this whole fire, you know? Anthony Street Clothes Davis. Marcin Gortat, that is a weird uh, move. You're describing Carl Anthony Towns. Look, Carl Anthony Towns, I don't know the guy personally, obviously, uh, but he seems like the type of dude that really, he reads his own box score every night and his mood is, determined, is dependent on how his box score looked. Uh, that is at least the brand that he has cultivated for people to understand, like, what he's like, you know, in bead flops his backside off. Yeah, in in bead flops all over the place. But Boosty, thank you for the twenty one months. Been a long time, but glad I can catch up with a stream. I'm glad you're here, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Running key, thank you for the nine months. Yeah, how do you score seventy and lose the Carl Anthony Towns experience? Carl Anthony Towns thinks he changed the game. So that's the issue with guys like that. Is that Carl Anthony Towns is an incredible basketball player. He is score. He can score a ton of points in the NBA. Uh, but there's a difference between being an incredible basketball player and being a superstar in the league, right? That is the difference between uh, being, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example here, but like Chris Wood or being Erling Holland, right? Like there is another step there. While Chris Wood is better than 99% of people that have ever laced him up and is an incredible player, you know, they could score a hat trick in the prim. Erling Holland's a superstar, right? And the problem is sometimes the people that have Chris Wood talent think they're Erling Holland. And I think Carl Anthony Towns is in that category. He is a very good. Nobody would doubt that he's very good, but he's got a bunch of hype people in his corner that are telling him he it's like him and Michael Jordan. And that's not true. Obviously. Josie Altador for no reason. Now he seems like a really likable guy. Actually. Wardy, thank you for the four months. What do I think is Sabonis not being selected for an all-star game? Dude, the all-star voting for, like, the, the American sports selecting all-stars by voting, like, it's just terrible. It's terrible. Like, the whatever, the fan voting and stuff, like, it's just not good. Because <laughs> they, they, they're not watching all the games. Jordan's my favorite baseball player. Hell, that deep, there you go. Michael Jordan, favorite baseball player of all time. What is the topic? Really good players that we just hate for no reason. We're doing some professional hating today. 
not actually hating. Please never send any of these people those DMs that are like bullying them or being mean to them. Well, I think if I met any of these people, I'd just kind of dap them up and be like, hey, what's up? Cool. But that's what we're talking about is players that are we acknowledge their talent. They're really good, but we just don't like them for whatever reason. Just having a nice glass of Haterade. You know, Mateo Mass. I yeah, John Terry is is probably fair. John Terry is fair. Will Smallbone. Vandersar. That's interesting. But John Terry is definitely very hateable. So it's like Brad Marchand, if you're into hockey. I saw somebody say that. Carl Malone. Carl Malone also very easily hateable. Steven Stamkos? <gasps> no. A Tampa Bay Lightning player. A Tampa Bay Lightning player. No. Oh, Kucherov. Kucherov, I get. If you're going to hate one Lightning player, it's probably Kucherov. I hate him half the time. But Steven Stamkos is just like the quintessential captain that leads the team to, to victory, you know? Kyle Guy. Ah, oh, yeah, it says fair. Kyle Guy is fair. You sit there in your heartache. Who is the most unhateable? Who who is the most unhateable? The inverse of this. Who's the most unhateable player? Actually, we'll do full inverse. A player that's bad. No, okay, you gotta, you gotta let me finish here. Sebastian Allaire after that performance at AFCON might be there, but the player is bad but you just like them anyways. That's the full criteria. So not like Modric or N'Golo Conte. They're bad, but you just you just like them. You root for them. You, like, want them to play. Sean Strickland, Darren McFadden, Darwin Nunez, Michael Bradley, Scott, Car Scott Carson's a great one. Mohamed Elneny is a great one. Will Grigg, Pulisic, watch it. Jackson Irvine that honestly the point of this question is to get the answers like Jackson Irvine because that dude is an aggressively average player but how, like he, he's a perfect pick <laughs> why Everson Royale suppose that's the point you can pick whoever you want Matty Cash Danny Welbeck I I'm trying to think of my answer dude Julian Ryerson Lord Bentner Deli Alley's definitely become likable all of a sudden Gaga Slanina Dempsey was too good, dude. You got to take it down a notch. Timo Werner. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm trying to think um, who my answer to this question would be. Somebody you just like and you want to play and be good, even though they're not. Uh, uh, Brian Scalabrini was the obvious initial offer. Alvaro Morata, dude, needs all the support he can get. He needs all the support he can get. I love that for you. Gardner Minshew, Isaiah Hartenstein from the NBA. That's awesome. Divock Origi. True. I need to, I need to, I need to lock in because I'm just reading your answers, which is a lot of fun, but I need my answer. You know, I need my, my answer. Alexander Pato after all those injuries. Oh yeah. True. It's probably like, um, <laughs> every American player. Josh Sargent. Um, outside of... You know who mine is? Mine's going to be a little weird. Henrik Mkhitaryan. I was always, I always just kind of rooted for him. I thought it was cool he was from Armenia. He always seemed a little counted out. You know? Henrik Mkhitaryan. Oh, like, he wasn't great. I just hoped that he would... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, he was better than most of the people being named. That's fair. But I, I like, I, I just kind of hope he did well, you know? I just hope he did well. I know he's still pretty good. It's not, you know, uh, I'm not like, you know, I don't have like a tattoo of Henrik Mkhitaryan's number or anything, but I just hope he did well. Yeah, Mar Marco Royce was actually who I thought of, but then I was like, Marco Royce is actually too good. I can't just pick, I can't just pick Royce. 
I can't just pick rice. Um, Takafusa Kubo, true. I have always like rooted for Son as well because it's cool to have a South Korean player crush it the way he is, but he's obviously way too good for this. Um, player that's not good that you kind of rooted for. Peter Crouch. Crouch was really good, though. Akin Fenwa. Shin Chicagoa. He was good, though. Oh, wait. Kyle Beckerman. You guys remember Kyle Beckerman? The American dude that showed played for Colorado and then showed up at the World Cup with that hairstyle and was actually very good at the World Cup. Kyle Beckerman was a that that's the perfect choice. Dude snuck into the US team at the 2014 World Cup. It was just all like he played really well. He was a defensive midfielder, but you did not want him to have the ball. You just wanted him to just clatter people. And he did. He, yeah, he, he, he just wanted, he just wanted him to clatter people. Sebastian Soto always root for him. He's godly for me in a U.S. pro rail squad on FM 22. Nice. Wondolowski. Wondolowski is a pretty good poll too, but I, I think my number one poll is U.S. national teams. Kyle Beckerman. Good, sir. Mario good, sir. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much for the 20 months. That's a B on the dad joke there, Grady. But that, that, you know, I'm glad we could get some haterade out, chat. I'm glad we could get some haterade out. Who watched AFCON? Congratulations, Ivory Coast, for the 2-1. That's a C. That's a strong C there from Ollie. Thank you for the 40 months, my dude. I appreciate it. Pixel Pennon, thank you for the 25. Wardy, thank you for the 4. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the stream. Enjoy your bacon. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free experience. So this this is crazy. One, not this isn't Ivory Coast's first title, but Ivory Coast is down bad right now. They haven't made the last two World Cups. They didn't get particularly close to the last one. And they, okay. I'm going to tell you two sentences. There's no way they should both be true at the same time, but they are. Ivory Coast lost 4-0 to Equatorial Guinea. Ivory Coast also won AFCON in the same tournament. Like, it, like how do you explain that? You just don't like you, you, I think it's the, it's the perfect, so it's the, it literally the African Portugal, right? Because Portugal finished third in that group and then went on and just found a way to get it done. And Ivory Coast just found a way to get it done. I mean, penalties, uh, this, they won in the last second and then they just, I mean, they, they had to come from behind. Uh, in multiple games, in the knockouts. Uh, they also beat a team in the final that they lost to in the group stage. Right? They, they lost to Nigeria on the second match day of the group. And of course, as I tweeted out, uh, it tweeted out and everything, they fired their coach after this loss. The craziest thing, though, probably the craziest thing, is that if we look at the group stage, they probably shouldn't have made it. Zambia was level with Morocco with 10 minutes left. I'm going to open that up, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I, and I'm, I'm, this is why I don't bet. So, there was 1-0 Morocco over Zambia in the 37th minute, and they held it. Who is texting me? They know I'm busy? Goodness gracious.
If this result is Zambia gets a point, Ivory Coast is out. If Tanzania had scored against DR Congo, Ivory Coast would have been out, but they drew. One goal from Zambia or Tanzania on the final match day would have knocked Ivory Coast out of the tournament. They would not have made the knockouts. Not only did they get that, without a coach, they went on to win the whole tournament. Now, the weirdest streak. You guys know I love this stuff. I freaking live for this stuff. So I'm just going to. We're just going to drop this on you. Is that they have won AFCON before. I think they'd won two other ones. Uh, they won it in 92 and 2015. But they'd been to the final four times. They made the final in 2006 and 2012. Ivory Coast, that is. Uh, and. In all four of the finals they made, nobody scored. All four finals. It's one of the weirdest, like it finally ended with them scoring. Oh, this is cool. That's very neat. All right, Africa Cup of Nations. I was just looking for, like, the champions. Oh, there we go. We got the final. So, in 19... Uh, oh, wait. There were, that's hosts and then first one. Okay. So, 1992. Nil-nil. 11-10. 11-10 on penalties. 11-10 to Ivory Coast. That's how they won their first one in 1992. All right. Then they made it in 2006. 0-0, lost the penalty shootout to Egypt. They made it in 2012, 0-0, lost the penalty shootout to the Zambia, which if you didn't know, the Zambia had won an AFCON in your lifetime. They have. Uh, then 0-0, 9-8. Dude, look at these shootouts. Only one of them didn't go to sudden death, and it was the one they lost to Egypt. 8-7, 9-8, and 11-10. So finally, they make a final and somebody actually scores a goal. And it's a third African championship for Ivory Coast, which puts them tied for fourth with Nigeria, who also has three. Ghana has four, Cameroon five, Egypt seven. DR Congo and Algeria are the only two teams that have more than one. Then Zambia, Tunisia, Sudan, Senegal, South Africa, Ethiopia, Morocco, Republic of Congo. Mali. I'm freaking rooting for you, man. You got to give me something, Molly. You got to give me something. I feel bad as an Englishman to have cursed our penalties luck on them. No, I mean, so they're winning and losing, right? Like Ivory Coast won two of the penalty shootouts, both against Ghana, which is hilarious. I, because of 11, 10, and 9, 8. I mean, that, yeah. So if you're talking about penalty luck for Ghana, from the English passing that down like a colonial gift, just a terrible penalty ability. Then, of course, you had the 2010 World Cup with the uh, Luis Suarez handball incident. But Ivory Coast, congratulations. Congrats to Qatar as well. They won the Asian Cup. They beat Jordan on a hat trick of penalties, which I, I do think were deserved. I mean, if, I, you, know, you know me. I'm not, not exactly Qatar's biggest fan, so if I thought that they'd rigged it, I would be shouting from the rooftops. But they look like pins, so... Uh, it's a shame Jordan didn't win. That would have been a sick upset. But all that does is it just proves to me the fact that Qatar won the Asian Cup. Because that is Qatar's second Asian Cup, chat. <sighs> second. It just proves that they choked at the World Cup. Obvi like, they obviously just choked at the World Cup. How else do you explain it? They just didn't show up to the World Cup. They have won consecutive Asian Cups. South Korea hasn't won one since 1960. Iran hasn't won it since like 82. Right? Japan and Saudi Arabia have run the Asian Cup recently, but Qatar it's just taken it over. Thank you for the 25 months, my dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Qatar peaks in the Asian Cup, I guess. They've never qualified for a world. Like, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Qatar's never qualified for a World Cup like out of their own talent. And yet they've won the Asian Cup twice.
I, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious they'll qualify for the next World Cup, too, as long as they can keep the same team together. That Akram Afif guy is very good. How long do I stream for? It's my first time here. Usually like four or five hours. It's kind of just kind of vibing, you know, depends. I am tired today, so probably closer to four. But I usually try to go at least like three and a half hours, you know. It's only a few games. <laughs> I mean, so is the World Cup, right? But you still have to be be good to win it. Qatar is the reverse South Korea. Basically, South Korea shows up at the World Cup every time, but Qatar is the team that shows up at the Asian Cup. I mean, Australia made the quarterfinal and lost to South Korea in extra time. There's no shame in that Asian Cup performance, you know? Probably the highest ratio of pressure to talent a hosting World Cup country has ever had. I mean, maybe... You'd like you just would have I, I think hosting hurt the actual Qatari national team whereas I think hosting normally helps but you could feel it kind of hurt them like they if if, if the World Cup had been in freaking Zimbabwe Qatar would have been better I think I think I think they would have played better Fausto thank you for the two months Alter Hugo thank you for the five months Australia were a minute away from the semis. Yeah, there's like, there's no shame. Like, Australia didn't get grouped. They didn't lose to a team that's, like, less talented than them. No, I mean, so no, the only continental competition that national teams don't bring their full national team for is the Gold Cup, and that's because in North and Central America, uh, in CONCACAF, the Nations League is actually a bigger deal than the Gold Cup. I don't know how that happened, but it did. But like, yeah, the Asian Cup and Africa Cup of Nations, those countries have their like the same sort of team you'd bring to the World Cup. So South Korea bring, you know, Sun Hyung Min's there, Kim Min Jae's there, right? Those guys are there. They're on that team. They're called up. So that that like the the Asian Cup, the Africa Cup of Nations are a huge deal for those nations. I mean, if Sun won that, we'd be get it would have been blasted all over the airwaves as like Sun finally did it for his country and everything. But um, yeah. Well, uh, why? Uh, why is that the case? I think it's the way the calendar works. So the Gold Cup happens every two years, where the Nations League. Uh, while it happens every two years, it's just like the way. It's like every national team in CONCACAF has just acknowledged that the Nations League is where we're all more likely to call up our first team. So everybody calls up their first team for the Nations League and then the Gold Cup happens later in the summer and you want to like the, the players want like a break. Like if they play both the tournaments, they're going to play the whole year. Does the Asian Cup? No, 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 no. Okay. So just broad strokes how international soccer works there are continental federations there are six of them including oceania which is like you know um new zealand and like the pacific islands uh and each continent has a championship each continent has a championship asian cup euros copa america whatever each continent has a championship and then each continent also hosts qualifying for the World Cup. It's entirely separate. That would be funny, though. Like, if you win the, like, it would be like winning a cup to qualify for continental competition. Like, if you win the cup from your continent, then you just automatically go to the World Cup. That's not how it works. Uh, that would be interesting to see implemented, but it's not how it works right now. So there's also qualifying, like, for the Asian Cup, there's qualifying. There's only 24 teams make it, and there's like over 50 teams in Asia and Africa. So they have to host qualifying just to see who's going to go to the Asian Cup or to the Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, they, you know, they Europe hosts Euros qualifying. The Gold Cup hosts that as well. <sighs> That's okay. Oh, I can just open it on Spotify. I'll do that over on this computer. Hills. Hold on. It's 
So this is uh, oh wait. Oh, let's try it. So this is Clate, uh, who is uh, a good friend of mine, and I don't spell his name like that normally. Uh, he's like an FM a YouTuber guy. Uh, and this is a song that Clate has produced, apparently. This is amazing! Oh, yeah. Is that auto tune? Oh, get it, Clates? It's four minutes long, by the way. He's into it too. I can I can't wait for the live performance at the Brit Awards. Oh, great note there. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> said why are you not subscribed i'm not logged in on youtube on this uh browser oh breaking it down oh we're breaking it down Oh, we're going high. We're in the falsetto. Oh, we're in the falsetto. I knew we were switching it up, baby. Yeah, a little key change. We like that. Wow, he got he got high up. He, he got up there. I love how he made it just like an actual song, you know. Oh, no, and it ends on, like, the Chucky is his name. Wow. That was spectacular, dude. That was awesome. Congre <laughs> wow. Football manager music. That's what we love to hear, dude. Football manager music. This is what dreams are made of. He's making it happen. That is hilarious. I need it on my playlist. Well, let's not go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. All right. Whoa. Kyo Sung Yoon is on the South Korean national team. Apparently, he just got. Oh, he already had five caps. I just forgot about that. That's the guy we signed with Saint Etienne. I was talking about the Nations League. Our first match on stream today is actually Nations League 
with the U.S. Oh, Daryl DK. He got hurt again in real life. I feel so bad for that guy. He just got a tight groin, though. He'll be fine. He's a darn solid player, and he just keeps getting hurt, and I feel terrible for him. But, yeah, somebody was like, St. Etienne? This is the St. Etienne save, yeah. We're just, uh, we also coach the U.S. national team because they're giving me the bag. I'm going to be honest. They're just giving me a bag. So here's my question. The final will be drawn on 324. Okay, so that means we are, oh, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, we're totally playing this this break, aren't we? We're totally playing this on this, uh, like this international window. We're playing for the Nations League final. I think, I, I think. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure. We move it on. I, I think we play the semifinal. If we win, then we play the final. We got a chance to win, well, multiple trophies because we're also still in the Coupe de France. So it could be a very big day out there today. Very uh, big day. Trying to exert more influence over the game. Trying to get my boy to dictate some tempo. His passing is excellent. Yeah, well, he needs to be smart, too. He's smart. I want him to get a little smarter before I want to do that. Oh, dude came in through my youth intake and needs an intensive language course to learn French. What are my youth coaches doing? Speaking to him in English? Hey, Lelamella's getting better. We uh, the Things you just love to see, Lelamella bad boy getting better. Answer, JLab, are you going to talk about the thing that you were meant to bring up last week? Yes, I just need to remember to do it at the beginning of a stream. I just need to remember to do it at the beginning of the stream, but yes. Uh, Daryl DK did blow out his, um, he blew out his Achilles, or at least it looks like, I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, but it looked like a real nasty injury. And of course, DK was just out for a long time. The uh, West Brom American striker. So I feel terrible for him. That is, that just sucks so hard. That's a tough injury. If that is what it is. So that's a really tough injury to get over. Doc, thank you for the four months. Howdy, Z, you going to finish the season today? And is there a fun fact that you didn't, uh, did you know Chuck Norris built the hospital he was born in? You know, I haven't heard a good Chuck Norris joke in a long time. And I really appreciate you dropping one in. Because it's been a real long time since I heard an unironic Chuck Norris joke. And not only that, I'd never heard that Chuck Norris joke before. You know, what a... Uh what what thank you just made my world a little bit brighter b minus you know b minus final answer well i'm my bad boy hey how you doing why is it so dark in an apple store oh wait i want to finish that they forgot to install windows you can't. I've tried. Need to use boot camp, I think, or whatever that thing is called, which I could never figure out how to work. I gamed on a Mac for years, man. You're triggering my, you're triggering my PTSD. I'm going to do a B plus, though. I did like that dad joke. I didn't. Alexi, thank you so much for gifting a sub, by the way. And Alter Hugo, thank you for the five months. Fausto, thank you for the two months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Enjoy your ad-free experience. And enjoy the show Jean Martins is going to put on in this stream today. All right. The U.S. is paying me $1.6 a year, and they're definitely not paying me that to lose to Canada. So minimum is we've got to win this game, and honestly, minimum is we got to beat Mexico. Got to beat old Mexico. Uh, uh, uh. Is this the same save that Zealand started in South Africa? Yeah, dude. USA players are reported to the team's hotel in preparation for our match against Canada. 
All right. I was given one option. I clicked it. And now they're happier. Sometimes life is easy. Who's watching the FIFA Beach World Cup? Wait, is that going on right now? Oops. It's in uh, UAE. I know Tahiti's good. I remember I watched a Beach World Cup final one time. And Tahiti was like one of the best teams. February 15th, USA, Italy, Tahiti, Argentina, UAE, Egypt, Spain, Iran, Colombia, Japan, Portugal, Mexico, Senegal, Belarus. Brothers, zero sand in that entire country. Belarus is wild, and they have a navy, too, and they're, like, landlocked. I don't know what is going on there, but they are really living there. No! Dang it! Jamaica really wanted to play you in the final, if I had the choice, but Mexico has scored an 85th-minute winner to knock out Jamaica 1-0. Nations League final is set. If we win, we will be playing against Mexico. All right. All right, all right, all right. I see you. I see you. You know, the beautiful beaches of Belarus covered in ice. But, like, under, if you, like, you just, like, a hair dryer, then you just melt the ice. There's a beautiful beach under there. Right on the lake. Mongolia also has a navy. They're just, like, land leasing one port from, like, China or something. They have one submarine. The MSS Genghis Khan. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay, we need to fully rotate. Cameron Carter Vickers is not okay. Neither am I. All right. Um, Adams. Adamsley. Adamson. Adamsburg. Bueller. Uh, Mr. Brightside. All right, Adams, uh, McKinney, Booth, Reyna, Polisic, Daryl DK, Scally, Richards, uh, Robinson. Yeah, we need Dest. No, we don't. No, we don't, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's crazy, dude. All right, what do we want? Pace or power? I'm going to go power. We'll go Daryl DK over uh, Florin Belogan. Okay, what are they playing? A little four four two. Jonathan David dropping off Daniel Jebison. Alfonso Davies. Definitely gonna be aggressive over there. Yastakio's dropping down. We need to make sure we take away his space. Okay. We need Des. No, we don't. Feels very realistic. Yeah, Des just a little tired. Uh, he must have had a club match late. But that's the deal. Slonina. No, Brady. Sorry. Chris Brady is the starting goalkeeper for the U.S. national team right now over Gaga Slonina. I believe. I believe that. I believe that we, I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Come on, USA. Give me my USA playlist. Hold on. Nations League semifinal, brother. This is our time. Come on, baby. America, back to back World War champs, brother.
Somebody said po Post Malone. Is this Post Malone? Oh, there you go, Scally. Let's go. Dominate. Where are the stats? All right, Scally, Adams, Richards, Westy, Lord have mercy. What was that? Come on, boys, keep it up. DK, the hold up play, lovely for Taylor Booth. And it's Gio Reyna, it's Gio! Zagor, thank you for the year, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Geo off the wall. Chillin, thank you for the 39 months. And the vibes. Appreciate you. Max, thank you for the two months. Thanks for supporting the stream and enjoy your ad-free experience. Not Nikhil Marshall Ruddy. Okay, he just threw us the ball. I mean, Fonzie's washed. Reyna, oh, Booth. This is not the side of the field we should be going down, to be honest. Adams. 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 Pulisic! Oh! It's Christian Pulisic for the United States. It's free go. This is still our region. Oh. Morgan Dieter, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Lavinia, thank you for the $5. I'm sorry, hold on. I missed the... Um I missed, like, the most important first part of that. Thank you for the, the nice message, though. Uh, oh, the marathoner. Kipped him. Yeah, the, the guy that has the, the just set the marathon world record died in a car crash, if you didn't hear about that. So they were doing, uh, Lavinia was just saying, I want to remind everyone tomorrow isn't guaranteed. Let's all do our best today and being part of this community is definitely that much love. Rest in peace to an all timer. Calvin Kiptum died at 24, had the world record, still has the world record for the fastest marathon ever run by a human being. Very sad. Alec, thank you for the 10 months, uh, dude. I appreciate the prime. Can't take anything for granted. That's the truth. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, he died in a, a traffic incident. There's an all-time Floridian for you. Tom Petty. You know, Florida gets a lot of slack, but we did produce Tom Petty. Is that pass? Freaking... Please give me a second goal. Please give me that second goal. We don't know what. I thought he was on that. He did all the hard work and then somehow lost the last like joust for the ball. Booth looking for DK. No, oh, Pulisic. Come on, hit the target. Keeper was scrambling around. There might have been an opening. Uh, no. Weston McKinney down with an injury. We'll certainly miss the final if it's played in this window. Demu fan, thank you for the tier one, dude. Enjoy the ad-free experience. And thank you for supporting the stream. Hey, hey. Uh. DK Metcalf? I uh, know. Daryl. Close. Reyna. Oh, oh, what a pat. I'll slip. Thank you. I appreciate the three months, brother. All right, subs, 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 subs. I'm going to do Jesus Ferreira. I like the way he played in that spot last time. Let me go. I'll be looking at La Torre because I think it's good. the match is going to be played in this window. So I think we're going to need we're going to need these guys. And if we're going to need these guys, then I got to trust the rest of my team to be able to take care of this. So I had faith in you guys. Uh, give me 20 good minutes, okay? <laughs> Darwin would have at least hit the post. And we missed two absolute sitters. Geo and Pulisic have basically been on and go in on goal, and they both missed. That's our ball. Nice, Scally. Adams cooking. Oh, no, 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 no. This was always supposed to be our highlight. I And I refuse to live in the world that you are tr you know, trying to create where it's not. Red! Red! Yes, that that is fortunate. That is quite fortunate. Because I don't think we've actually been that good. We want to make sure they don't get to have the ball at all, but we're going to be way more methodical once we get it. <sighs> all right, let's get ourselves to a final. Let's get ourselves to a final. We've got trophies that need winning. Tillman, there you go. Goal! Malik Tillman, 2-0, Estados Unidos. And I believe we'll be playing the final in like three days based off everything I know.
The Nations League semifinal. We are still the big dogs. We have beaten Canada, hopefully. <laughs> Javon, my dude, 42 months, Javon. 42. Thank you for supporting the stream for a freaking long time. Great to see you. The old dosa cero over the maple, the maple candies from up north. Although no hate, I love a good maple candy. That was pretty. The Robinson duo. Making this look a lot more comfortable than it actually was for most of the game. <laughs> what a terrible pass, dude. Yeah, we're the real deal. You know, we are the real deal. I know the Canadians are overly nice, but seriously, that's a bit, that's a bit much, isn't it? To just be setting us up with a goal like that, Mr. Florin Belogan. Okay, we're in this spot. Josh Swams, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Thank you for supporting the stream with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. But the levy was dry. Them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye. Hey, guess what? We're in the final. Oh, that was at Raymond James Stadium, which is awesome. This is where the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers play. My NFL team was hosting the semifinal. This is the coach that took Iceland to the World Cup and to the Euros knockouts. And he has since gone on to coach Jamaica and now Canada. I kind of love that. Yep, it's the 27th, a mouth-watering derby, USA, Mexico. We get freaking two days off. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, we need to, uh, we, we need to, hold on. I mean, I need, I need, we need, we need to turn up the America even more now. We need to turn up even more America. We need it. Cabello scored on South Africa duty. We need even more America. So no hezzy bunnies if my boss yelled at me while watching the FIFA streamer at work. I put in my two weeks notice. Good. Responsible thing to do, hezzy bunny. I appreciate the sub. Hanson, thank you for the eight months. The classics, you know it. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Still remember. Around anyhow. Sweet home Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. Damn, they love the governor. Just blasting this in the locker room, like towards Mexico's. Let's do, 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 hey, sweet home Alabama. I oh, Lord, I'm coming home to you.
It's an electric song to scout to, dude. Hey, Jamaica got third with a 1 0 win. 88th minute goal from John Kimani Gordon. And Jamaica takes home the bronze at the Nations League. That is wild. Perfect. Thank you for the 26 months. I didn't know it had been that long. I didn't I honestly if you'd asked me if Sweden had a coach or not, I wouldn't have known they fired him, but that's a long Ah, I feel like the U.S. is similar to that. Hiring a national team coach is way different. A longer process. There's not as much immediate pressure. Uh, yeah. This guy wants a loan move. I don't think anybody wants him, but... Squara, sing it! Thank you for the seven. in electric that's that's what that's so fast coles thank you for the six months of the prime dude congratulations i like uh, hi i work for si and international management is not broken Yes, I work. I do work. I work for Sports Interactive, and international management is good. It's flawless. Flawless. We finished our last match, and the entire team were taken out back and abused with sledgehammers for three straight days, and then just handed back to me. Holy, holy land us. Oh, yeah, that. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Oh, West Virginia, Mounds Mama, take me home down country roads. Ah, oh. all right, paying attention. What are we doing? I'm getting too America up right now. Oh, yeah, I'm creating a save point so I can literally post this. International management is not okay. That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing at a country road. Take me home to the place I belong. Virginia Mounds Mama Take me home Country Roads They drank too much moonshine after the last game Home far away Alright now uh, what the hell are we gonna do I don't know I don't even have a team dude what am I going to do? Start Jesus Ferreira at right wing. I'm definitely going to do that. Start Johnny Cardozo in this spot for sure. Oh, to the place that I belong. Oh, West Virginia. So I was right to rotate, but we weren't even really clear that we were going to need to rotate. They were just like, we're going to draw the final, but they weren't telling us when the final was. Uh, take me home. All right, halftime subs for both of them. Polisic and... Yeah. Because I want him in if we have extra time or anything. Tillman and De Torre play till halftime, and then we use two halftime subs to bring in Polisic and Reyna. But they're so tired, we can't start them. 
We quite literally cannot start them. They're, they are too tired. All right, get stuck in. Smash them. Oh. Now control. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How American can we get? It's the Nations League final, baby. Fortunate son blasting during the pregame warm-ups. USA, Mexico. One of the best matches on the international stage. One of the derbies for a trophy. Just our sixth season as a manager. Literally been managing for six seasons, and here we are. <sighs> they already have a region in their uh, national team, Tim. Oh, USA, Mexico. This is what it's always about. All right, De La Torre, De La Torre. Jesus Ferreira. I like the idea. I like the idea. No, Ooh, good block. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is looking good. Tillman, he's got the size, the speed. He's going after him. Go, Johnny. Oh, oh, what a pass. Wow, that the Jesus Ferreira should have just scored. That is brutal. Delatore, all right, I see you. I see you. Good. Heat Dictator, thank you for the 23 months of the Prime, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream and doing $5 of Jeff Bezos money. Little, little Jeffy B damage. Come on, Dorsey. Thank you for the seven. All right, they got a three on two against um, a part of our back line here. Johnny Cardozo is not in the right spot. And this uh, Marcel Ruiz guy, 
Making some serious runs. Well won by Tolkien. Tillman should use everything he's got in the tank because we're getting him off at halftime basically no matter what. Ferreira. Jesus Ferreira. De La Torre! Oh! It's Luca De La Torre! The substitute! He's in Gio Reyna's place and he scored! Oh, it's a, oh yes, okay. Thank goodness, immediate response. Immediate response in the final. Necessary. Luca De La Torre, last guy on the roster in the call up. Literally the last one. What is that, Tolkien? Good God, man. The only way they won the ball is if you just flubbed the header so bad it went straight up in the air. Oh, nice play by Johnny and Adams. Jesus Ferreira continues to be impressive. Jesus Ferreira. Oh, look at the hustle from Falorin Belogan. Yes, Jesus. Hayes, oh. Tolkien. Tolkien. It's still Tolkien. It's Falorin Belogan. Now, what a turnaround from the U.S. for Lauren Belogan strikes. And the reigning Nations League champions, Mexico, are behind in the final. Song, oh, song of the sail. Jesus Ferreira, Tillman. Oh. oh, we're playing it short. We've got Tillman. All right, all right, all right. Song, song of the south. That way, over there. Come on, that way. Uh, okay, Adams, Luke, oh you know, my, come on, De La Torre. Uh, He's off. He's way off. We saved it anyways. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we're playing our game. We're playing our game. I'm going to emphasize possession going into the second half. I am also going to bring Pulisic in for Tillman. Uh, we are... Adams is unsure. We hate that for him, but he's. I think he's been fine in this game. Uh, Luca De La Torre will stay until maybe like the 60th. We're going to try and capitalize on the fact that he's clearly having a good day. But Captain America is in Christian Pulisic. After Malik Tillman gave us 45 minutes because we needed him to give us 45 minutes because everybody was exhausted. Play it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. This dude just came flying out like he was shot out of a cannon. This is a pen. He's in the box. That's a pen. What is that nonsense? Hey, Mexico. Check this out. Yo, Mexico. Check this.
Check this out, Mexico. Chris Brady. No! Oh, dang it. That would have, yeah, well, all right. Hey, I'm standing on business, all right? I'm talking smack, but I backed it up. I put my guy out there, you know? You won't catch me. I'm not a sweat, right? We're going we're gonna to do this, and we're going to put on a show while we're doing it. Urjan Elmanai, you're in. Really, Tyler Adams is, no, he's fine. All right, Gio, I want you in there. De La Torre has worn himself out already somehow. Will you, uh, oh, get there. All righty, clock is running down. Now we're going to need some energy in the back part of the midfield. Like, we know it's going to be this guy. We're going to go ahead and get Adams. Uh, Johnny's there. We've got Taylor Booth. We can get in for Jesus Ferreira. We've also got some tired legs on defense. So we'll leave Jesus Ferreira in and go with Anthony Robinson. I'm going to keep my last sub. Uh, now, I'm going to get – I'm going to go grab Scally for uh, Serginho. We're going to leave it like that for now. You get an extra sub if we do get extra time, but obviously we want to kill this off pretty effectively. Uh, we're going to lower those. Keep the energy really high because against the 4-4-2, we've been able to mostly just trap them in their half, especially after that big chance they created early. All right, Reyna. Dude, that, that's just not working well. We need to switch that up for World Cup qualifying. Scally. Elmanai, Johnny, yo, that's a terrible block. Thank you. Just needed to touch, we needed to slow that down just a little bit so we could get a shape there. Play it short. What are you doing? We're five minutes away from the trophy. Great header by Richards. Gio. Anthony. Johnny. Eljan Selmanai. Johnny. Selmanage, Johnny. <laughs> I'll put that on that on very aggressive defense, but the rest is on. I'm just saying. Oh, wait. This is uh, Country Roads again. Oops. <laughs> we found it on the actual playlist. Oh, where I come from. Come on. Gotta, we got to bring it home. There's only a few minutes left. Oh, you know what I, you know what I need? Chat, what are you, a bunch of drunk people at a bar at 3 a.m.? One more song. Free Bird! Free Bird! Wagon wheel worked, chat. Wagon wheel worked. We don't even get a trophy lift.
Don't even get a trophy lift, dude, for the Nations League. We are CONCACAF Nations League champions. We have returned the trophy to the United States. Come on, boys. Just our sixth season as a manager after starting with no playing experience and no coaching badges. We have brought home a major trophy for the U.S. The most important trophy in CONCACAF, the Nations League. It is ours. We won it in Champa Bay at Raymond James Stadium. My hometown of Tampa. Oh, you couldn't dream it up any better. We're eighth in the world rankings after that win. Mexico had won that Nations League, but the U.S. has reclaimed it. It is back in United States hands. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, mama, rock me. Drinks are on me tonight? Yeah, well, I mean, the U.S. is paying me $1.6 per year to coach the team, so. I think that is, that is entirely fair, but, um. I don't know if you guys uh, know how this works, but it is time for me to pour some water on my head. So, so let's let's get with that. <laughs> it's time for me to pour some water on my head. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of water left in this. So I'm going to go get a cup of water. You guys get your bet on what color the Gatorade was? Because that's the important question. Did you hit your Gatorade color bet? Purple.
All right, I have to go get a towel. I have to go get a towel. I realize I forgot that. I was not anticipating winning a trophy today. And so there's no towel here. I'm just standing in a puddle. Okay. I really just destroyed my room with that. I don't know why that one was just particularly destructive, but it was. USA to glory, dude. We're winning the World Cup with the U.S. in this save. That's what we're doing. We're winning the World Cup with the U.S. That's uh, that's what's happening. Greg, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate you. Doomsage, thank you for the eight months. Fendrick, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Enjoy your ad-free experience. Don't lose your deposit. Oh, she's already gone. <laughs> no. Take pretty good care of the place, but... Can you check Cruz Medina as my second favorite American? Yeah, I was looking at him in the national pool uh, earlier, but I didn't see anything happening. Oh, two more goals for Cabela Macoena. Cabela Macoena. How's South Africa doing? Is Cabello going to lead them to a... Uh, well, they're not in first. I don't know where they are. Uh, yo, they're right. Oh, they are right behind Morocco. They're going to get another crack at him. Definitely playing well enough. They're definitely playing well enough. They've went over Equatorial Guinea and all that. All right, now we're locking in with St. at the end. We're battling for European places. We played Lons away. Then we've got a Coupe de France semifinal, I believe, coming up. And we've got a chance, actually, to win major European silverware for the first time. But it's what we do, dude. It's what we do. Yeah, I tried to mix up the playlists. We're in like the pop punk playlist today. What's Freebird? Uh, yeah, I, uh, Freebird's just such a long song. I just didn't want to not be able to finish it by the end of the match. But uh, yeah, I, I respect how many people were shouting for Freebird. You guys know ball. If, you, if, you're, if you're shouting for Freebird, you know ball. It's true. There's a four minute version. Well, why would you listen to that though? Why would you be like, dude, yeah, I want Freebird, but not like the best part of Freebird. So let's just <laughs> let's just shorten that up a little bit. Well, congrats on being back home. Yeah, the U.S. can be a lot. But um, thank you for the 11 months, Gun Kingo. What is Freebird? It's a good song. Uh, it's, a, it's a song by the same people that did Sweet Home Alabama. 
Uh, it's a it's a legendary song because it has like a four minute guitar solo, but it's a really famous old uh, U.S. kind of rock song. Look at how athletic Ivan Alves is. Kind of crazy. Dude's a striker without being a striker. I mean, straight up. His passing's gotten way better, but he bought himself a one-way ticket to the top of the game. You know, and we helped. We brought him from the fourth Portuguese division, carried him all the way up to the Eredivisie, put him right, you know, right in the target. Ooh, there's a pretty freaking solid uh, Greek guy. Don't see a lot of good Greeks around these days. When is Mourinho announced? <laughs> is my assistant manager, I'm assuming. That's why you're asking. I'm pretty sure PSG just has some sort of deal where they only play on Friday. Because I feel like I've really not played on Friday at all, but PSG plays on Friday every single week. I, I don't really know. what. Oh, they're top of the league after their win over Lyon in a massive six-pointer. It's been a competitive league race, but PSG might be able to get the job done. Now, Greece is really on a downswing in terms of their ability to develop players recently. That team that won the 04 uh, Euros was way, 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 way better than the Greek national team now. Like, way better. Oh, I forgot Kovacevic was hurt. <gasps> Uh, 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 so Maxime Rodier is third, um, like actually just third. The third best wonder kid in the world. You believe this guy was in our frickin' reserves when we got here? Before we got here, he had played zero first team matches. We saw him and we were like, dude, we think you can be that guy. And he has be oh, he wow. Wow, 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 wow. This dude's legitimate. That's insane. This guy's actually just on Millwall. He's not on loan. Paul McIntosh, actual Millwall player. Absolutely absurd that there is an actual Millwall player here. What is that, 17 year old Bosnia? Like, this is a pretty crazy list. Like, there are guys that are not at major uh, clubs that are on this list. A couple of guys in the Brazilian leagues. This is a wonderful list for the scout in all of us, you know? Yaman Guk, Turkish national team player at 18, Galatasaray. Okay, we're not looking at him. Rejevic playing in Portugal. Hall. There's Schumacher. He's 18. Jan Schumacher is the 18th best wonder kid in the world. We have two top 10. Okay. Okay, Saudi goalkeeper Marwan Alali. All right, he's already at Liverpool. Got a 17, yeah, two Saudi players, man. They're paying off FM too, dude. Guerrero, Simashev. There you go. There's another one. Wow. We actually have the scouting department to be able to do this for the first time. Just find guys that are at a level that's, you know, lower than ours so that we might be able to make a move. This guy's, I mean, he's in our league. That's why I kind of want to take a look at him. He's in my league. This guy's playing at Al Ayed. It's in Saudi Arabia. 19 year old Uruguayan. He's making a lot of money. 
Guards full. This is an Italian. Oh, he's on loan from Inter. Oh. Never mind. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Now we didn't get we didn't get a third guy. It was just the two. Maxime Rodier. This guy's actually legitimately just on Sunderland, which is cool. It was just Maxime Rodier and Jan Schumacher. That was it. All right, this guy's actually on loan from Lens in my my league. We might as well take a peek. 50 best wonder kids in the world. Easy. Easy. Honestly, Cabello Mokawena could have been up there as well. His production and now his performances with the South African national team are seriously turning some heads, you know? What place was Rodier? Third, dude. <laughs> Maxime Rodier was the third best wonder kid in the world, according to the list. Third. He was third. Nals. Three, Angers nil. I don't think any of these are particularly important for us. These are all below us. But the relegation's looking pretty set. It's Stade Brestois or Angers is going to the playoff, but everybody else seems safe. Marseille's bad season continues, so... Ha! Yeah, it's not a very easy uh, welcome back to league play after the international break sort of situation. We have Coupe de France semifinal after a Sunday match away against Lens. But watch how much better my players will recover. Seriously, watch how much better my players will recover in this three-day stretch than they did internationally. Because internationally... My, my team would be dead, but my team will be not, if not entirely fine, most of the way fine. So Vladan Kovacevic is not cleared yet, which is a freaking crying shame from his broken collarbone. Uh, and he might not be cleared to play against Marseille either. Looks like he's seven days till he's fully, fully fit. So Luis Mi Cruz is hurt. That did happen before all this nonsense. So our new is there. We're going to go full first team. Ramsey, Rual, Mika Faye, Santiago Montiel, Van de Bauman, uh, Jean Martins, Arnu, Torres, Shelter up. Actually, away against Laws, do we want to switch it up a little bit? Play a little bit more reserved? Thinking maybe we cook that out and bring in Pedro Bravo instead. And I'm going to go with uh, Bondo. Bondo Martins Bravo is my midfield. Our new shelter up, Ramsey and Montiel getting us to the wings here. But that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Need some nice performances from the boys, but we're going to come out and try and get control of this. Um, try and get control of this early. Not let them, you know, not put ourselves on skates, not get into trouble early. Just let let us ease our way into the game. We could get more aggressive as, as we go along. But away against the fourth team in the league that's been very good this year, and clearly they're on, incre they're in, you know, a great run. Every point matters for us at this stage. We are five points safe. In seventh, which as long as the winner of the Coupe de France is in the top seven, that is a European spot in the Conference League. <sighs> Dude, look at those trees. Those four pixels are doing the Lord's work over there.
There you go. There you go. Come on now. Rual, the turn and burn. Ramsey. Ramsey on the move. Martins. Warren Bondo! Let's go, baby. I love this team. Somebody said Bondo hat trick at C. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Warren Bondo. If we, if we put together a good run here, this could be a six-pointer for us. We win this match. We're only three points off Lons with six matches to go. I, this could be the type. Like, if we're going to make a run to get Champions League miraculously, this could be the type of... Uh, this could be uh, the result that puts us... Oh, my Schumacher! This could be the match that puts us in position to make a run. It's something maybe even better than just getting into Europe. Schumacher. It's amazing that he made contact that great from that distance, and it didn't go in, honestly. Uh, like, it's amazing. Mika Faye, baby. Mikael Faye. What is up, dude? Mika Faye. Oh, that is it. With the center back. The, I mean, it's just the quality. All the way up and down the team. The center back from the edge of the area. Right into the bottom corner. We're in our more defensive setup. And yet, some, dude, we're level. We're a point up. It hadn't factored in our goal yet. We're a point off Champions League if we win this. So this has gone well. I am pleased with our creative ability out of this one. Dude, they just made three changes. Me at halftime if I'm losing this match 2-0 and have created absolutely nothing. And they've won their last five matches, too. They actually had gone soaring up the table, and now we are trying to reel them back in. This is going to be quite the, the tight race into the finish here. I, I mean, don't look now, but we are technically still just seven points off the top of the league. As long as we can win this match. This, all I'm saying is this would be a huge three points. Big save. This would be a monster three points to set us up. Because this is, if not the hardest, one of the hardest matches we have left is this one. Let's go, Andre Gomez. No nonsense. Zero nonsense detected. Oh. Schumacher. That's nothing. Where did I start this save? We started unemployed uh, with no coaching badges or playing experience. And this is our sixth season. We've been able, this is our first season in a top five European league. Uh, we earned it. We took the St. Etienne job after they got relegated, got them back up, and we are we're getting after it. Oh, Jean Martins, look at him. Shelter up. Yeah. Back. Good, Warren Bondo. 
Okay, we could have used some. We could have used the space on the other side of the field, guys. We did not have to do that. He missed the touch, and it's our ball. I mean, that's you know, a few decent payments have been made. Bravo. Martins. Montiel. Arnoux! Goal! Easy, easy, Santiago Montiel, Nicholas Arnoux. Well, that'll fix the goal difference. <laughs> They're just throwing guys on another sub. <laughs> guys, hey, these guys absolutely molding on the other touchline right now. Just throwing subs in. He might be on. That was a really terrible line. No, the flag's up. Okay. But our line did not look cohesive. It did not look cohesive at all. But fortunately, their entire front line was still well behind it. Right, right, he's offside. Yes, okay. Give me Mocha Wena. Uh, who else is bothering me? Oh, our new. Every time we pass the ball out to our new, he doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go Rodier and Indala. I'm gonna swap out the front three. Need eight. we need fresh legs. We've turned it over a couple of times because we're passing it out to our new, and he's just not receiving it well. He's not doing a good job of receiving it. Well, that, yeah, that's another offside, very clearly. Okay. Good deal. What settings do I use? I'm it's sideline, but you put the height all the way down. And then one speed above normal is the most normal feeling to me. Saving on clean sheet bonuses, dude. How is that blocked? So was that a corridor of death throw in? Yeah, it was, but I was winning by three, so I didn't net yelling and screaming about it as much. That's mine. Good. So it's fresh legs. Ooh, it's open. Got to get that ball out in front. Could be offside again here. Yeah.
Nice. Mocha Wena is playing amazingly. All right, Joel Indala. Joel Indala. It's still Joel Indala. Have it. Oh, okay. All right, Ramsey totally shooting. Everyone follow the MASL? I actually don't know what that stands for. Good save. All right, subs. Um, I am going to go Branco, Torres, Branco there. <coughs> yeah. Want to rest Bravo because we'll probably start with the same formation against Marseille. And Bravo is an important part of that. But we don't want to change what we're doing too much. We don't want to make our team bad. Yes, there are still 10 minutes left, and we are up two goals. And this win is very important because this actually creates a four-way tie from fourth through eighth, which is crazy, which, which is actually insane. You literally have a four-way tie from Champions League to no Europe, all tied in points. Or sorry, no, it's fourth to seventh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So potentially no Europe is, you know, if like Marseille happens to beat us and win Coupe de France potentially no Europe in Champions League. All tied at points with six matches left if we hold on. I think he's on. We might have four. Give me that, son! Goal! Luke, thank you for the tier one, dude. Appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy the ad-free experience. Branko van den Bowman right down the pipe. Great touch and finish by Cabela Mokowena. How's the league table? Uh, after this win, it's quite tight. It's It's been tightened up a lot. We are pretty safely at least in the top seven, it seems. The Stade Rene and Marseille and all them, they're all at like 44. So we'd be eight points clear of those guys. Great performance from Andre Gomez today. Very sound. A magnificent 4-1 performance from St. Etienne at Lens. Our goal difference isn't even the worst anymore. Friggin' Leals is, they're tumbling a little bit. Yeah, Leal lost. Monaco won, and we are all, all squared up from 7th to 4th, tied at 52 points. <sighs> now, we can guarantee that 7th, I, I, I don't know who's in the other semifinal, but I know if we, Marseille is probably not in the top 7. So if we if they beat us, then that means there is a team in the final that can steal a European spot. The other semifinal is Nantes or Nantes and uh, Lyon. So Lyon is definitely the top seven. If us and Lyon win, then it's a monster derby in the final. But we're looking ahead. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We have a very difficult match. Major Arena Soccer League, it seems on Twitch. Games are fun to watch. Oh, it's just like the Arena League? I feel like I've actually heard of that. Like somebody's tweeted it at me or something. I know I went to one of those games when I was a kid, I think. 
Probably a different league. Where are my banana chips? So. We did not in our in our first a first ever incident like this for us win a trophy last season. Oh come on, Alan Diallo, you got to get it together, man. We have a chance to do it this year. We have a chance to win a major European trophy for the first time, the Coupe de France. A lot of guys that aren't that good on our short list. But that guy has long throws. Hell yeah, dude. Why I give a contract to a free guy? Because they're all going to want at least 100000 a year. It's kind of a waste of resources. Well, so our goal is to get to the top of the game as fast as we can get there. We're not here for a long time, dude. We're here for a good time. This is just our sixth season of management. We're already at St. Etienne doing this nonsense. Just the second time I've stayed at a team for more than one year. As we spent two years at Orlando Pirates winning nine trophies to get a nice move into Europe. Take over a fallen Eredivisie team, get them promoted, then bounce to St. Etienne, get them promoted, and now we're competing in... Ligue 1 at quite the high level. How are we doing in the league? We're in uh, sixth. Every team from fourth to seventh is tied. We all have uh, we all have fifty two points. Do, 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 do. This is a potentially momentous evening. We're playing Coupe de France in the semifinals. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Penalty shootout after 90 minutes. Penalty shootout after 90. Rep check after winning with the U.S. I don't think Nations League win would bump up because I'm already three and a half and I'm studying for my Continental Pro license this year, which I'm going to get in about two months. I'm going to get a Continental Pro license. Winning the Nations League. Oh, hello. I have four stars complete. I was saying that uh, I was just talking about how wrong I was. I actually am an incredibly well-regarded uh, coach. Studying for my Continental Pro license, which might give me another half star. Okay, every but everybody is fit, so we're actually going to go with nearly the entire same starting lineup, except for Joel and Dalla taking right wing, and Mokawena. 
It's like the most that is if there was one dad joke that I'd be like, this is the dad joke that's been said the most. It's that one. Smith row the boat. Thank you for the two months. QS zero. Thank you for the four months, dude. I appreciate you guys supporting the stream. Eric, thank you for the 26 months. And of course, Fenton, good to see you, dude. Thank you for the tier two wow. and the 28 and the dad joke. A plus. I, yeah, you're, you're getting a D for the, for, for breaking out the Switzerland joke again. And Gummy, thank you. Congrats in the three years, Gummy. Shoot. Gary Neville's all sorts of excited. The has been well, they have Juan Basaka. Nice. Vitinha up top. Juan Basaka. It will be. Where did they buy him? Or is he free? 28 million. After loaning him in. All right. Wait, was he playing for DR? No, he hasn't moved yet. Okay. Could go vibe at an AFCON if he wanted to. <sighs> DVD, thank you for the prime, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos money to support the stream. Why no man you logo? Because they sent cease and desist letters to the people that make the logo packs. Can you fail a coaching course? Yes. Yes, you can. You absolutely can fail a coaching course in this game. 100%. All right, chat. Cup semifinal. 90 minutes, and then it goes straight to pins. There is no extra time in Coupe de France. You play the 90. And we are away against Marseille. I mean, obviously the league is occupying so much bandwidth for us with how tight it all is. No, yo, big save, Andre, big save. And we didn't play a top flight team until the quarterfinal in the cup, so it doesn't feel like we've been a cup participant the whole time, but a huge opportunity to get a real serious trophy. And we're all about winning trophies. No, oh, good block, Montiel, yes. Dude, nice kick. Dang, dude, that went a mile. And Mocha Winna won it. Indala. Joel Indala. He went down. Oh, Warren Bondo. Oy. Could have been a pin there, but Bondo showed up and made everybody forget about it. Yeah, it's that. If Bravo scores that, that's a cherry on top of the Sunday. That's not really his game. We're there. Mocha Winna. Yes. Joel Indala. Joel and Dalla. Joel and oh, dude, again. Get a touch on the ball. Great pinch in by Ramsey. Bravo. Just go back. Yeah. There's nothing good there. Oh, Rual. Good composure. Oh, we changed the line quick. Oh, I like it. Montiel should have hit that first time to shelter up. Yeah, now you got it to him. Martins. We look like the better team. This is a good start. This is a good start. Montiel. Shelter up. Ramsey. Indala. Moko and Ash. That was shelter up on the doorstep. Come on, boys, we just need one of these. We need to stick one of these home.
Does Martin have the trait kicks sure goals directly at opposition players? Nobody should. Oh, it's Roger Fernandez. Okay. I just hate when it's the guy that I have a tight mark on that makes the move. Literally have a tight mark on Indite. Trying to save us from that run. Uh, they, they did successfully lift us up. They they baited us up the field enough. All right, change intact. Uh, we've got some anxiety in the team. You've been unlucky, hundred percent, hundred percent. We got to change your approach. You got forty five minutes. We're gonna need a we're gonna need the right result here. So. We need multiple goals, basically, if we're going to completely flip this around. So, Gomez, Ramsey, Ruol, Fay, Montiel. Do we want to make any changes there? No, although Ruol's just losing his mind right now. Shelter up's anxious. Bondo's in a 6.4. But we nailed the team talk. Let's see if we can get something out of our team in this tactic now. Please, 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 let's get something early. Just the highlight. Don't even need to score. Just let me know that... We're going to be playing the way we were for the first 20 minutes. Now that we were bad after their goal, we just weren't quite as in their lap. Oh, Faye. Damn. Oh, this is a really good shot. You give up these shots and matches from time to time, and this guy just cranked it. Seeing all these guys drop. All right, we've got Ramsey. Bravo thinks he's filling in. So these two guys, neither one is up here. Bravo thinks he's filling in at center back, and so does Ramsey. So they both run to the same spot. They just leave the drop back open, but he still had to hit a he still had to zing that one. So I would have classified that as the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen out of the half. So we're going to go with Maxime Rodier, uh, Mocha Winnes somehow in a 7.0 and anxious. Didn't even know that was possible. Luis Torres is going to come in. Bravo's uh, coming out for Branco so we can get the quality in there. We've got our frustrated center backs all over the place. We do have uh, Nicholas Arnu, and uh, those are the four changes I want to make. I don't want to have to bring in somebody for the back line we need two goals uh it'd be very very difficult for us to win this but okay um nice i thought he saved that i guess that nicked the crossbar on the way over we have not really done anything in the second half the, the changes hadn't worked yet so Maybe the changes and fresh ideas are going to kind of get us back. Let's get it. Rodier. What are we thinking? Oh, yeah, Branco. Okay, yes, Torres. Luis Torres. I hate that he's cutting in there. That's a great tackle.
Dude, they are just razor sharp today. They only have like seven shots in the game. They're playing eight. Sorry, they're playing the final third's just been outstanding. Why'd you run away? Drop to the ball, man. Friggin' nonsense. Who's gonna pass it to you when you're making that run if we don't have the ball? Also, Arnu, how are you always the guy that gives the ball away? You are solely responsible for us losing the ball every time in the last two games. I do, I'm stunned that didn't go in, honestly. I do not know what to do to help you, Nico. Seriously. All right, we're going to try and press her up the wings. Well, obviously, we need three goals in 15 minutes. It's going to be very, very difficult for us to uh, pull that off. But if we're going to pull it off, I would imagine it's going to look something like this. He's got to stay. Okay. All righty. Martins. Faye, Rual, look at the fullback. Look at the fullback. Good. All right. Branko in a good spot. Nico. Do something that doesn't suck, man. Take it wide and cross it. Have a better shot. Either one works, but we needed one of them. Nice. One more. Yes. Montiel. Oh, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. 3-0, most dangerous lead. We all know it. We all know it. It's a great finish by Santi. It's his first goal for the club. Santiago Montiel. Wonderful finish. Let's, keep, yeah, let's, let's make this chaotic. Let's put some match pressure on them. All right, so we do actually have one more sub. And I'm going to use it to bring in. Uh oh. I'm going to make a. Uh, yeah, especially if we get another goal, I'm going to make a late Jan Schumacher sub and just create a really ridiculous looking tactic. It's pretty bad press, guys. Yeah, we let him out of that pretty easily. Oh, not that one, though. Jean Martins. Yeah, he's off, though, isn't he? Oh. All right, what are you going to get? Um. I'm dropping Martins. I love Martins, but I'm dropping him, and we're going with this. Uh, Jan Schumacher is getting Martins. Because he's exhausted. Branko's got uh, way fresher legs. So he can run around down here and, and make something happen. And that's um, that's what we're doing. There's no reason not to get Jan Schumacher in there when you're down two goals with like 10 minutes left. All right. Yeah, I love the press. Oh, still good energy. Got a foot on a ball there. Well, we're, yeah, they're okay. We recovered, but for one touch, that was wide open for them. Okay, obviously no call. Love that. Montiel's down hurt. That could be an issue in a second, but let's go first. He's putting it out to check on him, dude. Come on. Uh, one more thing. We're going to step up. I saw us backing off a little bit on that last play. I want us to put our foot in the ground and attack the pass, try and cut it off. We, if we score now, we got a chance. Branko. Oh, I like the idea, man. Guy actually defended that really well. Nice. Arnu. Arnu. 
Uh, Lizzo, thank you for the prime, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Then spit it five dollars of Jeff Bezos money. No, that's not it, Arno. Oh my goodness, Torres, what a play. Montiel, you're just digging deep here. He does actually have a knock. Okay, Branco. Rual. Torres. Ramsey. Schumacher. It's one on one in the box. Not anymore. Torres. Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Luis Torres stabs it home. And they are very much alive. I don't think there's anything else we can add, though. We're already... I'm not going to tell him to take the kick long. We're already just smacking it. We're already smacking it. We'll put ball player. I... Rual, you're going to be a uh, libero. You're stepping up into the midfield. Come on, boys. Keep playing. Luis Torres with a... Really good goal. Just black. Oh, it took a huge deflection. That's why the keeper wasn't ready for it. Okay. Still, we take those. All right. And we're going to get an encouraged shout in. We need a highlight to pop up basically immediately. That's okay. Right now is when it happens. It's a terrible cross. Are they going to let us bring this up? I think they are. Oh, he's offside, and he missed the pass. Man. They just carved us up, dude. They carved us up. On the counter, they just carved us up. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They carved us up. Didier Deschamps coaching uh, AC Milan. Uh, okay. He's not playing. He's mad about Simic's loan. It's kind of funny because I have a clause to buy Simic, so it could just not even be his problem. I probably won't, obviously, but. Dang it, dude. All right, Leon and Nantes. Leon won on penalties, which is good. Even though they're our rival, that is exactly what we want to happen because Leon winning the cup would keep the seventh spot in the league, a European spot. So we needed a Lyon win, and it'll be Lyon Marseille for the Coupe de France. And we're rooting, as, as awkward as it is, we're rooting for our hated rival Lyon to get us into Europe.
But now we've got six league matches left. And as we were just talking about, the league is as congested as it could possibly be, right? Six matches. We're tied with Lille, Monaco, and Lens at 52 points. We're four off Lyon, six off Nice, seven off PSG. We are seven clear of Stade Rene, who are creeping up behind us around the 45 points, trying to play their way into a European spot. It's going to be a bit of a Wild West last six matches. Man, that sucks we got knocked out. Um, we do play Marseille away again. Then we play both the teams in the relegation zone, the team right above the relegation zone, and very good Lyon at the end of it. So we have a fairly easy schedule. We have Marseille away, and we've got Lyon at the end, but every other match I'd make us favorites to win. That's a pretty pretty nice schedule. So here's to here's to hoping that uh we end up okay. Last match day is Derby Day. Uh yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about it that way. Did we lose the cup final? No, it was a semifinal. The Coupe de France semifinal, we lost three two. Yeah, yeah, just disappointed in our uh, our turnovers. Our transition defense was uh, was was bad. PSG are starting to get hot. They're doing that PSG thing where now they're getting control over the league, leading from the front, beating Stade Rene. <sighs> Nantes, and then Marseille. Mika Faye doing his thing. Love to see it. Vladan Kovacevic is back. Love to see it. So he should be cleared for this match. We should, because Gomez did not have a great match. He had a 6.3 in the cup loss to uh, Marseille. He'd been big for us in a couple matches, but he'd not recently. Haiku, thank you for the uh, thank you for the year. I know you were, you were telling me that. But enjoy your golden bacon. Thanks for supporting the stream, dude. Congrats on a year of no ads. Thought you were the U.S.? No, I, I'm the national team coach of the United States, and I'm the club coach of St. Etienne. You do not have to uh, invest all your time in it when you're the national team coach. All right, so results. Leon drew. PSG obviously won the day before. Monaco beat Lille, which means Lille's like mudded in seventh right now. A win puts us three points clear of them. Um, nice also won. They beat Lorient. So they're running with PSG for the league title right now. Lyon fell off because they actually just drew the worst team in the league, Clermont Foot. <sighs> okay. Uh, Montiel out. Ramsey out. They gave it everything they had that last match. We're going to start with our more aggressive tactic. Hope you guys are cool with that. And I'm going to get old Branko out there. Wily old Branko Vanden Bauman. And Vladan Kovashevich back in goal, baby. What's up? Yo, how you doing? Arnu, I like you, but I also, and this is true, don't. So I'm going to need you to show me a little something. All right, we're going to close down the wing backs. Get a tight mark on the guy that's a little more likely to make a run here. That might be Rafael Varane's brother or something. Uh, Jonathan. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> oh, they look tired. Well, they, uh, they're probably going to rotate. But if they don't, they're a little more tired than we are. Sucks to suck, dude. All right, we're going aggressive. We're going aggressive. Got a home match for this. Just go out there, relax, play your natural game. The result will come. I expect uh, nothing but a win from this match. Uh, we have to win our home games. Oh, they felt a little nervous. Okay. Well, not nervous, but they did, certainly weren't excited that I was putting pressure on them. All right, I got to go. I get water.
I'm here. I'm here. And it just comes like flying out of the bathroom right as the whistle starts the match. I'm here. I'm here. We can start. Yep. It's all right. Boss, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Echo me. Or what are we doing? Van and Bauman, he's off. He's clearly off. Fender's trying to like get to it and clear it and it's just out of his reach like off his toe and it just goes straight to Sheldrup who's staring at the completely empty net. I will take them any way they come in this type of league situation. We're not the aesthetics quite honestly do not matter at all. The only thing that matters for us now is just getting the points. Getting the points could put us in a Champions League position in our first season with St. Etienne, which would be stupid. In my optimism, I said that I thought our team was good enough to be in Europe. Why are people doing those throw-ins now? Somebody on the other team did that to us in a previous match today already. Just cock back and just boom, chuck it down the line to no one. They've got a wizard at left back. And I look down and the guy's name is just Merlin. Fair. Fair play. Well done, sir. Go left. No, not that left. Our new. Oh, Brother. Turn the dominance into goals, right? Oh, I love that. Jan Schumach, five. Oh, beautiful. Shelter up. Barranco Vanden. <laughs> Give a little encouragement now. Looking good, boys. We have the lead. That's all that matters. All that matters the rest of the season, it, not aesthetics, just did you win? Are you winning, son? Come on. Yeah, no. Wing. Look at the wings. 
Okay, that's fine. Ooh, Jean Martins with a terrible ball. Oh, oh, oh! Goal! Oh, it's little Luis Torres! He has really grown into his role this season, Luis Torres. This was a real special goal in front of the defender there. And it's two goals in two matches for the Mexican magician, Luis Torres. <sighs> look wide. Drive and then look at the fullback. Oh, that's not it. I mean, he got a corner out of that, but he's freaking lucky. Hey, sub. Hola. Quiero un subo. Poor favor. All right. We're going to bring in Bravo for Martin Shelter up at our new offer in Dalla and Rodier. Uh, we just don't want to pick up any injuries. And I love. Indala and Rodier later in games because they have that directness, that aggression and pace. You can take advantage of more tired teams. We've been able to keep them com just pinned completely in their half for the for this game. Ecomier, Rodier. Oh, nice hit, son. Yeah, everybody's winning. Monaco's winning. Laws is winning, which means we're all still tied from fourth to sixth. But Leo lost, so there is a team now firmly in seventh. But it's still just going to be getting wild out there. Yeah, we got the live table in the top left there. I want to find something else to put up over here. Uh, do match stats. Yeah, I'll be basic. I'll stick with the match stats. Bandit Bowman. Oh, have it! Bravo! It's Pedro Bravo. It's an exceptional goal <laughs> from Pedro Bravo, right in the top corner from the Colombian. Says some would say a Bravo, you know, Bravo, Bravo. I think it's like the second time he's done that this year for a guy that can't score at all. Oh, Rodier, 4-0. Hello. Goal! How you doing? Hey, uh, can we catch them on goal difference? Because all of a sudden, we're just putting goals in. Uh, no. <laughs> but Laws isn't winning. Yo, Laws is not winning. Also, Maxime Rodier just bullying this guy. Gets in front of him. Good touch. Classic Rodier goal. That's, that's my wonder, kid. Maxime Rodier is my wonder kid. What a performance from Saint at the end. 4 0. We are still five goal difference off Monaco. So that's a very tough ass to catch up to that over the last five matches. But... <laughs> we in fifth? Oh, tell me the good news, Doc. Tell me the good news. Laws lost. Oh, yes. I don't even see the match over here that Lons is in, but they, they lost. Monaco won, so they hold the Champions League spot, but Lons and Lille lost. Oh, no, Lons uh, technically hasn't played yet on that table, but I think... Oh, they won. You... 
Uh, uh, whatever, dude. Nobody cares. Whatever. Madison, thank you for the 11 months. <laughs> Nobody even cares. I didn't just, you know, I, I wasn't sitting here thinking we were like in fifth. That wasn't, no, that wasn't what I was doing. So you just literally talk to me about freaking, I'll sit him out of training this week. He'll be fine. Freaking, what, what are you? You're jaded? Are you kidding me? Jimenez's good form creates nationality battle. His good form for what? The local YMCA? Is that where he's playing? Dude's like 10th division, you know? National nationality battle between the British and the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's crazy. Yeah, that was presumptive of me. It's a nationality battle, but it's not ours. It's somebody else. Now, this is the guy I really want for the U.S. national team. He's the best left back in the U.S. pool, Nathaniel Brown. And we are eighth in the world, dude. We're eighth in the world. Rejects future with the U.S. national team. Oh, I will ask you again, Nathan. Oh, I have a cut in my mouth. Ah! Oh. oh! Why? Oh! Medic! Medic! Ref! Oh, dude, I didn't know I had a cut in my mouth. I somehow didn't find it with the first few handfuls of chips. That one was just like a heat-seeking missile. How is this guy not getting called up by Scotland? Calvin Ramsey has been nothing but my day-in, day-out right back for the whole freaking thing. Oh, no, we haven't gotten the scouting reports from the top 50 Wonder Kids yet, no. We have not received those in the post. But I am optimistic that we shall preserve the status quo of not being able to sign any of them. And yet, and yet we persist. Tierney and Robertson, I mean, Robertson doesn't, right? That, th Those are left backs. He's a right back. Uh, Bill Johnson wants to talk about his U.S. future. It doesn't exist. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's the most confusing dual mat ever. Wait. I was like, why? Like, I was like, why? There's just an American flag again. Like, what? Like, at the first glance, I was like, what's his other nationality? I don't get it. And I, like, I, he just has the same nationality twice. I, I don't understand. He's a double American. Now, for those that don't know, he was born in Liberia. That is the Liberian flag. It's just similar enough that when it's tiny like this, I fell for it. I got debated. African America. Hi, Bill. I mean, it's all over respect to parties. I'm leaning towards representing Liberia. I mean, look, I don't see you having a future, uh, so I'm not going to persuade you to represent us. Yeah, you can uh, go be a striker for Liberia, dude. Try and get them into AFCON, Bill. You're going to have a fun time. 
Have an, have, an, have an average American response right there. Double America! Wow! Fire the cannons. We're also quite advanced as a country. I recommend giving this a watch. This is, uh, Vice used to do some really good travel documentaries. Um, there's a very good one from Liberia that I'd recommend giving it a watch. I would not say it's an advanced, uh, I'd say that country's gone through some serious nonsense. Yeah, uh, that, that area of West Africa, particularly Liberia and Sierra Leone, has gone through some serious, seriously bad nonsense. Wow. This is the largest one of these I've seen, dude. The, there are six teams on the title race thing. Six. And we made it. George Weah is from Liberia, yes. That's that's actually crazy. I don't think we're actually in the title race, but the fact that we made the title race graphic with five matches to go, incredibly flattering. I'm going to take some pressure off the team also. I want you all to know, go out there and play and have fun. Have fun and what will be will be. 100%, dude. 100% my home slices. Take some of that pressure off. I believe in team meetings in these situations where the answer is obvious, and the answer is take some of the pressure off. Hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's win our last five matches, and then you know what? See what happens. Maybe if we win all of our matches, we have a chance to bring home the most unlikely league win ever. Just have to outpace these guys. Um, okay, so everyone, except for Louise Me Cruz, so he doesn't get hurt again. Because the match is tomorrow. We also have the draw for the Gold Cup, which I believe is this summer. Okay, uh... First seeds, U.S., Mexico, Canada, Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, Haiti, Suriname. Where's Jamaica? They not make it? Where the hell is the qualifying for the uh, for the gold cup? I didn't... Where's Jamaica? The Dominica, El Salvador, Guatemala, and the British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and French Guinea, or French Guiana, Cuba, Aruba. Yeah, I mean they're not here. Jamaica's in the Caribbean. Bro, 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 bro. Okay, I just saw a Wonder Kid face. I figured I'd throw a scout, but Jamaica does have a bobsled team, but they also don't have a team in Copa America, apparently.
Yeah, I mean, I don't like it. It's not giving us. Hold on. Well, you just go to the Jamaica national team and see if there's anything that looks like qualifying. They got bounced in Copa America, but they didn't make it to Copa America. They made it to the semifinal of the last Gold Cup. Dude, they're just not there. I don't know what. Jamaica's one of the best teams in CONCACAF. I don't know what's going on. Very weird. No, Nations League's not you. I mean, if even if Nations League was used to qualify for it, they would obviously be in. Because they, you know, because they did get to the semifinal of the Nations League and only lost to Mexico 1 0. They, uh, I have no idea. None. All right, did we get the, like the easiest group of all time Suriname, Barbados, and Antigua and Barbuda? All right, sick. Our pot two team is freaking Suriname. That's when you know it's coming up aces. Jamaica was added as a new state, apparently. I mean, that's very bizarre. I'm going to create another save point for that. I have multiple things to submit to SI today. Oh, I can't put a question mark. Or can I? But with a period at the end, no question mark. Doesn't seem fair to have to play both Antigua and Barbuda. See, that joke only works when you're playing uh, Trinidad and Tobago because they actually have a chance. Antigua and Barbuda, they have no chance. They don't. No, it's not due to their Nations League results. They made the semifinal. Every other team, their team the, the team they beat in the quarterfinal is in, my group. Huh. These are the Wonder Kids. McIntosh, who's the guy that plays at Millwall. Diego Fernandez. Anel Svico, who's playing at Slovaco. Ed Air, just another classic Brazilian Wonder Kid that's not going to love me. <laughs> this guy's okay. He's not great. Jenny's Rejevich. No. Abdulaziz Al Turkey. Still in a youth contract. He's getting paid 3.6 thousand per year. $3,600 a year. Now that is a center back I could get behind. Big determined either footed team player a weapon you know stoyan you're going on the target acquired list brother he's uh in serbian great center back nationality we all know that matters you know Needs to get his strength up. He's 18. He'll be all right. Hey, how are you? You good? You need anything? No? Just checking. Okay. Tell themselves. Okay, Enrique Flores. Oh, I was kind of excited about that game. He's kind of buns, though. He's kind of buns. <sighs> All right, here we go. Away against Marseille, who knocked us out in the Coupe de France semifinal. 
Somehow this is when Montiel's suspension kicks in. All righty. So we have Ramsey, Rual, Faye, Ecomier. Let's be yourself. Branco. Uh, yeah, Martin Zornu, Torres, Shelter up, Schumacher. That's kind of the – that's the set of dudes. That's the set of dudes we're rolling with. We have another left-back option. That would be, of course, the mighty Liam Scales. All right, we're looking at aggressive fullbacks because they're going defensive midfielders, so those guys aren't going to be getting as far forward. We need to watch out for Amine Harit. <sighs> we shipped him a couple of goals early in the match by giving up counters that they really took advantage of. We owe them, though. We played this match two weeks ago and lost it in the cup. We owe them. We need to get them back. Come on, baguette boys. Come on. We owe them Peepo Riot. Five matches left in the league. We are tied with the team in fourth and the team in fifth. Champions League beckons if we get good results in the next five matches. And we still have a snowball's chance in hell of actually winning the entire league. So I don't know what's going to happen. Right, we need PSG to drop some serious points down the stretch, but they haven't been great all year relative to what they can be. Oh, good weight on that ball. Shelley, Ecomier, Jacques Ecomier, Mika Fay, Branko Vandenbellman, Shelter up. I was uncomfortable for that guy. Shelly, oh, break, shoot it, shoot it. He's on the ground, Branko, good Lord. He's on the ground. He is one with Mother Earth. Shoot the ball. I know the angle is not favorable, but if you can make a high pass in that window, you score a goal. All right, Joao Martins. I like the carry. I like the idea of a one-two. Shelter up with an excellent dribble. Schumach five. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. It's Jan Schumacher. Tim Madison, thank you for the four months, dude. Four lovely months, and hopefully four lovely goals. Hey, well, we've started this match very differently than the last one. We came out, played more aggressive. We had Torres in that attacking midfield spot. Vanden Bauman as our deeper midfielder. Front row, Ryan, thank you for the six months, dude. Congrats on your silver bacon, and thanks for supporting the stream. I see you. My name is Vengeance. It is. A match is a match. We'll get the next one. It was a great run by Shelley, though. You were right. Oh, not Timothy. There are layers of revenge here because I dropped Timothy Wea from the... Uh, from the U.S. national team. So he has he has reason for revenge as well. To play the overlap. My God, Sheldra. The overlap was there. Jacques was making the run. Feed my boy Jacques. All right. Mika Fay. I still think it's ours. Nice work by Captain Branko van den Bauman. Our new... Shelter up. Yeah, okay. I saw the cross come in and it was floating so much. I was. Oh, right. We do go into third because the other teams play tomorrow. So we could actually put our team in third place in league all. Shut up. Martins. Branco. 
Do you want to go? Breako van den Boomen, how's he managed to squeak that one and he snuck it by the goalkeeper on the near post. It's a wonderfully placed flat-footed delivery from Vrenko van den Boomen. Uh, Crystal Palace goal? Of course, they're playing Chelsea. Oh, come on. No, that, there is, I should, sorry, but you believe when there's matches on and we're streaming, we try and keep you oriented. So uh, Juventus is losing to an essay, which I didn't actually know until now. I knew they were playing. Didn't know this match was happening today, but they're nil-nil. Bell Bow's had a great year. So that has European ramifications. And, of course, Crystal Palace and Chelsea. Jefferson Lerma. Oh, yeah. Jefferson Lerma. And 1-0. Uh, and if we look at the live table here, you'll notice that Chelsea is now in 11th, which they were in at the start of the match, but they're also not moving up. Crystal Palace. One of the most tenured Premier League teams, actually, Crystal Palace. They're just like, they own like 14th to 10th in the league. That's theirs. That's their wheelhouse. That's what Crystal Palace was born to be. The goal is a banger. The match is still going on, so I can't pull it up and watch it, but good to know. We love a banger. Oh, Mika Faye, you were a step late. But look at him hustling back. Ramsey, good play. Wea, my goodness. Sekomye just got done by Tim Wea. All right, let's stop since he is clearly feeling it today. Back off. Let him do his fancy dribbling, and we'll just back off and let, let it happen. All right, Shelter up. Oh, get it back to him. Great run, Shelly. I saw you. Yeah, you, you should have had that ball back. Wall pass. Oh, good save. A rare good shot from our new. Break out. Ah. Uh, can't justify my decision to put Chelsea on the TV instead of Z. Hey, you did it to yourself, all right? If you're a Chelsea fan, just turn it on next year. Don't even don't even watch. <laughs> I've done that with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before. Sometimes we're like 5 games into the season and I'm like, I'll be back next year. Shelly! Oh, my. Wow, its technique was just all wrong there. That was a beautiful pass. Yo. The Bayern fan, and I do not like this title, even though it's correct. Hey, Leverkusen. Going crazy. Still unbeaten. Can you imagine if they pulled off a perfect, or an un, like, an Invincibles season to see out Bayern? That'd be amazing. Zealand fickle fan. No, dude. I'm ride or die with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but when we're three and fourteen and losing by thirty, I'm not I'm not there. I'm outside. I'm playing Crusader Kings. You know, I'm watching Kitchen Nightmares. Like, I don't know. I'm doing something else. <laughs> We've had a lot of shots so far. Yes. I'll emphasize that going into the second half. Well, that, that conversation actually has been happening a lot recently where it's like the wet like west ham fans leaving at halftime and a bunch of people that are just like no you don't leave it's your team you stay there and suffer it's like i i couldn't disagree with that more to be perfectly honest you don't have to sit there and watch your team lose 25 to nothing to be a like a fan of that team is Crusader Kings a good game? Yeah. It, I mean, I like to think I have good taste. Uh, Crusader Kings is one of my favorite games of all time. 100%. But if you've not tried Paradox Games and you like Football Manager, you should try Paradox Games. Oh, did we F out for a second?
Uh, I don't think we effed out at all, dude. I It says I've dropped 82 frames the whole, um, just a small buffer. Yeah, I've, I've literally dropped 82 frames the small, the, yeah, we're, okay, we're good, yeah. 82 frames the whole stream, which is pretty good. Have I played EU4? Yeah, I have. But I, I'm serious. Like, I, Paradox, like, if you like Football Manager, you'll, like, you'll like Paradox games. I mean, they're obviously completely different, but they're also just really, like, Football Manager's a really deep create-your-own-adventure game, and that's what those games offer as well. Ecolmier, oh, love this one, too. Love all this. I love all of it. It's Nicholas Arnu, and it's 3-0. Zealand's bakery is open for business because we are cooking, son. Because we're cooking. I always knew we were going to beat Marcelli. Uh, you know, they just never looked that intimidating to me. I just thought, you know what, a silly name to have your team be named Marcelli anyways. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so I, I think, yeah, we're we, we're open for business. Our new, I mean, look at this. We are just swaggering. I mean, we are just swaggering all over them. Like, oh, like we got so much swagger that we're carrying a giant bucket of swagger and we're bumping into people and oops, I'm sorry, I spilled a little bit of swagger on you. Sorry about that. There, let me clean that up for you. With more swagger. What's up? Yeah, this is revenge right here. Also, our goal difference has gone from a disadvantage to an advantage because all of a sudden we are just clicking at the highest level, dude. All of a sudden we are clicking at the highest level. So as people that have full match sharpness that are tired, we want to get off the field. That's the deal. If you have full match sharpness and you are tired, I want to get you off the field. I want to leave in Torres because he does not. Have that, but we're going with the old Rodier and Dalla double sub. Short. Oh, Jean Martin. Oh, he's off. He's off. CK3 and Paradox teams are pretty good. The mod community is so good. The mod that adds the American continent and a dystopic future on CK3 is so good. I I didn't know that was the thing. I the only real mods in those games I've ever played are like the Game of Thrones mods. You can just like play CK3 in the Game of Thrones universe. Like that's that's cool. There's one for uh, Lord of the Rings, too, I think, but I've never played it. Yeah, I, I, those games are made really, really even better. I think CK3 in particular with mods. And then you have, like, Mountain Blade uh, Warband, which has a great Game of Thrones mod that I used to play back when I didn't hate the show. Um, give me that. Well, that right there, chat, is revenge. You beat it. They beat us in the cup semifinal in a 3 2 match where, to their credit, they played really well on the counter. They finished all their chances. But we come back and we beat them 4 0 at their place to end any hope they had of getting a European spot outside the cup. That is. Wow. That felt good. Chorus Nexus. It's like shooting fish in apparel. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, it's an A minus. That's a seated ovation. What's the difference between Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis? So the way to think about the Paradox universe is Paradox makes a bunch of games. Uh, but the Paradox Universe is great performance by Martins, uh, who's 20 or else he would have been on that freaking Wonder Kid list, too. Wait, 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 stop! In the name of love! So Crusader Kings is the earliest one. It starts at 867 AD. 
You can also start in 1066 AD. Then it ends in 1452. That's like your end date. You can't play beyond. I've never actually even made it to that, but you can't play beyond that. Um, then the next one is Europa Universalis, which takes it from like 1452 to like, I don't really know the exact end date. I've never finished a game either, um, but it's like 1800. And so you go forward to that. Um, and then from that, you play a game called Victoria. Uh, 1821. Awesome. And then you play a game called Victoria, which takes you through from like, you know, it's basically 1800s, right? You play the 1800s, uh, like that era of history, steam power and all that. Um, I've, I've played Victoria the least. I've only played it a few times. Uh, and then after that is Hearts of Iron, which is the post-World War I era. Uh, yeah, so like you start it, uh, the, the, you, the early start in Hearts of Iron is like 36, maybe? Like nineteen thirty six, and then you play based, you know, World War Two and residual wars. Um, as far as I know, there isn't a modern one like current day, but there is Stellaris, which is a future space exploration game. Those are all the paradox games I know. Oh, PSD Lost. Um. 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 Um, 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 oh yeah, I guess there is Roman Purator, which is before Crusader Kings, but nobody really liked that one. Yeah, this is not a drill. Uh, Leon did win, which sucks for us because now that puts us back in fourth, but PSG just lost to Strasbourg, which means at this moment, depending on what happens with Nice, we are four points off the top with four matches left. We will see what happens with Nice on Sunday, but, um, <laughs> um, yeah. So there, there, are there any paradox games I forgot about then once we add in Rome and Purator or is that, uh, is that it? Cause they, the way they've I, I, I'm assuming they just built that out over time, but they've just made a different game for each era city skylines. Wait, that's a paradox game. I didn't know that. I've actually never really played it. No, I said Stellaris. I like Stellaris. It's kind of it's more chill than a lot of them. Yeah, well, obviously each of these titles there's like one like Hearts of Irons on four, Europa Universalis is on four, Crusader Kings is on three, Victoria just dropped a third one. Um, so, I mean, they're all like, they're all in their eras. I just wanted to give these guys the opportunity to get their match sharpness. So I think we got to go like here and then there should be a few more lads available that can go. Uh, okay. I misclicked. That was my bad. They can go play in the BT match on all Sunday. And then we've got Stad Brestois. Things are getting fascinating out there. Things are getting fascinating. USA press conference for the Gold Cup. This is going to be long because this is really I'm pleased. We have a good chance of making progress. No, it's not long. Okay, never mind then. It's fine. Gives a good chance of progressing. I had a decent idea of like what the team will be or like who, or sorry, who Antigua and Barbuda are. Uh, Suriname's definitely a team that's been on the rise. Justo Jimenez has been on good. No, no, look. That dude sucks. I don't know why the media is picking up that guy's name. He, he literally is YMCA level. <gasps> nice and Monaco play each other. Oh, give me a draw, dude. Oh, give me a draw. Or honestly, if we're trying to win the league, Monaco can win. Nice and Monaco play each other, dude. They play each other. Okay. Just got debated. I want to see the scores. Four matches left. Oh, Nice won. Now they're top of the league. And we're six points off it with four matches left. Leo lost again. Lons beat them. So we're out of Champions League right now. Uh, but Monaco losing helps. Claremont Foot just won. So they're actually about to pull off a miraculous turnaround. Angers and Stade Brestois drew. So still two points between the three teams in the relegation spots trying to fight their way to the playoff. 
But Laws continues to win, which is annoying. So we are six. We, we gained. We gained a point. We were seven away. Now we're six away. Nice is now top of the league. It's a wild chase. We still have a snowball's chance in hell after that Nice win of actually winning the league. But PSG drop. I mean, we need these teams to drop points, dude. PSG did their best to help out. I appreciate that. I did really appreciate their I appreciated their help. Now let's go ruin Stad Brestois' day because they're in they're they're right now in the relegation playoff instead of the straight relegation zone. But if we beat them and Angers or and Clermont Foot gets a point, Stad Brestois is in automatic relegation. Let's go make them sad. Because we have a pretty we have a pretty nice couple of matchups here. Currently seen as an important play. He's on important player. Are you? I did not know. I how did he not get mad at some point? Will you be okay going down to regular starter? Yeah, you would. Okay. Uh, Mika Fay is also an important player, but that that's fine. I don't expect him to be upset with that. We'll just take him down to regular starter. That's actually a very good recommendation for my staff there. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Just kidding. I appreciate it. Oh, Mika Fey has had a really nice run of form. Well, good to praise. Really happy with your recent form, Mika Fey. There were some people that were starting to hate on you. They were thinking you weren't good enough, Mika. I think you're good enough. Uh, no, we didn't get any Wonder Kids in our youth intake this year, but we have convinced the board to invest in having the best level of junior coaching and youth recruitment, which is nice. I mean, the board has been really, really amenable to us in this situation. Um... Just a shame. Well, how is this guy only two stars? I like him. Which makes sense. That's why he was on my short list, even though he, my, my scout thinks he's a two star player. I like this guy. I'm, you know, take it or leave it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on board with that guy. And this guy's got all the issues in the world. And the fullback, Carlos Romero, who everything about him is fun, but he can't move, which is kind of important at the fullback position a little bit. What's the difference? The situation at the top of the league. Uh, what do you? Oh, Simic pulled Hammy. Yikes! Oh, the goal difference situation. So our we've just won a couple of matches by like we've added seven to our goal difference in the last two matches. We've been kind of on fire, so that's been great because our goal difference is way worse than all the teams we were around. How's Aldrikus doing? Uh, only four goals and 12 appearances, but he's averaging a 7.13. Thriving in Poland as a, you know, the jump man. Can you explain the silver stars in PA? Huh. Oh, savvy. It has, dude. One more and you get your Z bacon. The ultimate statement for any fashion collection. But thank you for the 35 months, and thank you for supporting the stream for almost three years. I mean, it means a lot, Savvy. I appreciate it. Uh, but the explain Silver Stars and PA, if they perform well. No, no, no. Uh, so it's a range. When a player turns 22, scouts can finally assess their potential ability at a hard star rating. But if you have Silver Stars on a player's potential ability, that means their potential ability is within that range. Hey, Sosina! Oh! Thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Thanks for giving five people the ad-free experience and supporting the stream with some kindness. Chad, be sure to say thank you to Sosada, especially if you got a sub. Anytime people are throwing around the ad-free experience on Twitch, that's uh, that's a winner. But Racket, Einhand, Josh, Jolt, and Yusuf. 
You are now in the hammers. You've got the bacon, the emotes. You can get in the subsection of the Discord, all that stuff. Tim, thank you for the prime. You get all that stuff, too, courtesy of Jeff Bezos and his free $5. My club Chelsea are in the mud. Yeah, you probably didn't even need to say you were specifically talking about Chelsea. It's halftime now. 1-0. <laughs> but very mudded. How do the stats look? Chelsea with an incredible 80% possession and 0.07 XG and one shot. I mean, that might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. Skull, they give you the 27 months. 80% possession, one shot, 0.07 XG. Wow. 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 Juan Sforza, that dude's good. That dude's real good. Juan Sforza, real good. Too good, bruv. Too good. Haplerm, thank you for the 21 months. Also, Skull Ray, uh, Skull J, you got three Twitch children now, just so that you're ready. You, you're ready. You see what Jason Kelsey went to the Super Bowl dressed as Allen from The Hangover? I did. Oh, PSG, come on. Let us have our fun. Let us dream. Don't go blow Lorian out 4 0. Come on. That's annoying. All right, now it's virtually impossible for us to win the league. We need PSG to drop points in two of their last three matches, which feels, while I know it's possible, we have not really, like, with everybody having played every match, we have not been in the top four at any point this season. So the fact that we've managed to climb ourselves into this position is pretty incredible. I love Joao Martins so much. So this is a star league all player. There's no way his value is only 34 to 47. He's a $100 million player. For realsies. All right, we'll grab all them fools. Not Santiago Montiel, though. Um, okay, we need the goalkeeper. We can send that other goalkeeper down. Send him back to the B team because we don't need him. Cabela Mokowena, Maxime Rodier. We're very comfortable with the rotations that we have now. Mikkel Brences, Jacques Comier. I do kind of like this point in the season where you're like, I have I have such a good grasp of like where my team is good, how my team is good. Simic is out with a hamstring. Yo, Sosa Dada with the five more gifted subs, dude. The five more gifted subs from Sosa Dada. Franco, BMND, Claw Reaper, Bastion, Galaxico. Be sure to say thank you. You've got the ad-free experience, the bacon, the emotes, the subsection of the Discord. It's all yours. Snowy, thank you for the 17 months as well. So, Sonata, thank you for 10 gifted subs, dude. We're going back to the Faroe Islands, baby. We're going back. How many games left? Four. Quattro. Voidenstein, thank you for the 14 months, dude. Zephyr with the two months. What, 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 what does this do? No! No! I forgot I had that. I need to use that more. Nice and Laws play each other. Draw. 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 If they draw, we're four points off the title with three matches left. And we're in fourth for the first time. If they draw. When are you going to re replicate Pochettino's tactical masterclass of a false midfield? But Zever, thank you. I've had a rough day, but your FM videos and streams to put a smile on my face no matter what. Like that? Like that smile? <laughs> but seriously, I appreciate, I appreciate the support. All right. Four matches left. Dude, Kovacevic is still, like, not. He's still going through fitness tests. That's wild. Uh, Samantiel back out there. Branko, Martins, Arnu, Torres, Sheldon. Is Torres getting better? Yeah. 
not like massively, but he's got a good professional mentality, good understanding of uh, what he needs to do. He's one of our foreign players, Mexican national team homie. <sighs> Jan Mach, uh, Schumach 5. Yeah, the 10 million was a good deal, but I really think Cabela Mokoena might be better than him, but Schumacher needed a star playing time promise. So I'm really happy to go with an early hook on Schumacher when we get in that spot. You know, if he's not playing well. But we're playing Stade Brestois, so hopefully we just uh, we trounce these guys. Let's go, baby. Uh, all right. Ready for tomorrow's... Wait, is this snowing tomorrow? Is it? I have no idea. Uh, winter storm watch. These conditions are expected by 4 a.m. Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> I just opened my weather app and it's like, severe weather warning. So, you guys are paying attention. I wasn't. I didn't know there was a winter storm tomorrow. But uh, cool, yeah. I love a good winter storm. See, I don't have a car, right? New York, I just use the subway. So, like, I, yeah. if you have a car, winter storms suck a lot more. But I don't. There you go, like a nice long snowed-in stream. Montiel. Gonzalo Montiel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Derek, thank you for the three months. Wow. Thank you for supporting the stream. What do you think is going to be the next team? Hopefully a huge team. I Hopefully after this season, like Real Madrid's like, yo, that Zealand guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go. Martins. Nice. Anthony Rual. Joao Martins. Ramsey, love the one-two. Our new, our new wall pass, Torres! An early goal for Saint Etienne! Hope you're doing fine. I'm doing more than fine, Chelsea fan. I hope you're feeling okay. Next year is your guys' year. How do you live in America without a car? Do you just rent whenever you need to go outside of Manhattan? What do you mean, like, huh? I just, I just live, like, in New York. New York City is probably one of the two or three places in the United States that you can live without a car. I grew up in Tampa, which is just quintessential southern urban sprawl. And so I'm very familiar with the car culture and everything. Uh, but New York is... I would say logistically the most European city in the U.S. Wow, we're good. Luis Torres is killing it. He has cemented this starting spot. This guy presents himself as a target for every cross ever. He's just open again, gets that little separation, able to get the shot on target. That's nice. I said two or three. I mean, Boston's absolutely in the conversation. I would say Chicago is still livable without a car. Those were my, those would have been my guesses. Like feasibly livable without a car. Our new, ooh. What do you mean European public transport blows here? Look at me. Look at my face right now. No, it doesn't. It does not. You don't even know the meaning of the words you just said. You don't. You have no idea. All right? You want to know how you get anywhere where I grew up in Tampa? You drive. Not because you want to. Because it is literally the only option. There is no other option. None. 
You have to drive. No train. A bus service that goes nowhere. It's the only option. So if I have to listen to somebody that lives in Europe specifically, where they get mad because the train is five minutes late, talk about how inconvenient that is. I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, like people in England are like, oh, dude, the trains are shut down today. I'm like, but they're running every other day. You can't even bike. Not in Tampa. In, in places like New York, you can. Tampa has a small walkable downtown. But if you want to leave that small walkable downtown, you need a car. And, there, you know, there's not a lot in that walkable downtown except for, like, restaurants and bars in the stadiums where the teams play. Like, it is, you know, I like, to get to my high school, the option was drive 20 minutes, right? Like, that was the option. That's what we did every day. Like, uh, uh, there is relativity. Could your, like, is it possible for your transport to be better? Yes. But that's like the difference between racing in Formula One with a slow car and racing in Formula One with a Hot Wheels car, like the little one. That's what the U.S. is doing when it comes to public transport, and you're just Haas instead of, you know, Red Bull. If you're like, oh, our public transport's bad compared to the Netherlands. Well, yeah, the Netherlands is like two feet wide, all right? I know we got a pen. We're going to kill this team. <laughs> I love the Netherlands. I want to be clear. The Netherlands has the coolest public transport system ever. You can just get anywhere in the country on, like, a train like that. But it's also like, yeah, public transport in the U.S. is a little harder to pull off because it's freaking huge. Andreas Schelder up down with an injury that will likely take him out for the rest of the very short season we have remaining. Maxime Rodier is in. Yikes, Shelley. He's had a better year this year than he did last year in the lower division, so explain that for me. Oh, my God, Vandenboom. We had two wide open guys. I don't know why you went for that. Goodness, what a two minutes that was. Shelder up gets hurt. Our captain makes an unbelievably poor pass, and they score a banger. That is a brutal two minutes. Ay, 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 ay. So much for we're going to kill this team. Oh, yeah, we're still fine, but Joao Martins, Torres. I thought you were going to face up and dribble by him. Where's your ability to just be better than everybody? Rodier. There it is. Torres. Goal! I found it. I found it. Please see my last post. I need you to see it. All right. Thank you for the 500 bits. Also, Sosadada, you've been so kind today. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Where's your, um... Yeah, you just click on your name and it'll, like... Okay, yeah, so sorry. The post is... Oh, it just went away. Are you serious? I had it. Messages. All right, said... Uh -huh. I do not normally watch your streams because of work and small kids, but somehow I always watch your short YouTube videos. You deserve every bit of support you get and probably more. Much love from Norway. Thanks, dude. That's really nice. That's just some good old-fashioned kindness on, on, on the internet. The audacity to drop some good old-fashioned kindness on the internet. The audacity. On my Twitch? What is this? Just being nice? 
but I appreciate it. I'm glad that you're able to sit and hang out and catch the stream today. Thank you for gifting 10 subs, too, or making 10 other people's days. Biggest Norwegian W since Erling Holland was born. Right there. Caught it. I was thinking it might be in your uh, neck of the woods come around TwitchCon. We'll see what happens. Obviously, Norway's pretty long, but. Hey, what are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is he on? Are you serious? That was. Goal! He has four goals and a half. Luis Torres has four goals. He's unstoppable, right? He wins the ball, makes the bat. Look at the way he moves. He's just so aggressive with his movement. What a finish. Stabs it near post with perfect technique. He has four goals. A little Arshavin first half from Luis Torres, the 21-year-old Mexican midfielder. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's fixing our goal difference up. Mighty fine. That's fixing our goal difference up. A little 5 1 first half against Stad Brestois. Found his level. Yeah, I mean, really, though. He's dominating this level against relegation favorites. Vladan was unbothered. He knew that was wide. Yeah, positioning, so offensive positioning is off the ball. Defensive positioning is positioning. Just for future reference. All right, Martins. Oh, Schumacher, bad touch. Dude, there was an obvious through ball there. How did you not make that? Ramsey, look at this move. That was great from Ramsey. That was inspired from Calvin Ramsey. All right, that's my ball, obviously. Arnu, yes. Luis Torres on the move. I'd let him shoot from anywhere right now. He has four goals. I'm over the moon. Are you friggin' kidding? What are the results in the other games? Uh, they're not going, they're, they're not going yet. Okay. Well, this will put us up into third as we continue to play for that Champions League spot. You remember, do you guys remember there was an incident on stream where we lost a match to end up in like, we were 13th in the league or something. And somebody posted a comment in, in chat that was like, because I, cause I started the season and I said, you know, like, I, I think we're talented enough to make it into Europe this year. I was, who was that? What the hell was that? Who made that pass? Freaking Montiel, dude. What an up and down season he's had. What an inexplicably awful back pass that was. But somebody, like, the, po the somebody put in chat, like, Oh, we're good enough to make Europe. You know, like where you capitalize odd letters, like, oh, we're good enough to make Europe. And I remember I looked at him and I was like, check me out at the end of the season. That's what I said. I said, check us out at the end of the season. We'll be there. Look where we are now. We backed it up. I talked that smack. I stood up for my players to chat. You know, I was like, look, I think we uh, check us out at the end of the year once we've got this whole thing figured out. Check us out. And uh, we got a shot to get that Champions League to be sensational. Nah, I want more goals because if we can actually get like a doll, oh, either going to score. Yeah. If we can actually get like a 7 1, that would create a really nice goal difference buff for us. Oh, no, a ton can still happen. You know, we got four matches left. We just lost Shelter up earlier this match, so he's probably out the rest of the year. 
he's going to miss the last three matches. Our next two matches are should be of this qual uh, caliber, where we're playing against teams that are battling relegation. And then our final match is at home against Lyon in the Derby, which will be... Yeah, there might be a lot on the line in that match beyond just the dark. Oh, my. No way. Torres, it's five. Oh! It's five goals for Luis Torres. He's been simply unplayable the entire evening. Break over and Boomin collecting the assist. Wow. I think he's uh, comfortable in France now. What do you guys think? I think he's comfortable in France. Uh, somehow Schumacher, we have a six goal lead or six goal. <laughs> We've scored six goals and he is somehow uh, on a 6.6. .6, so we're going to move him. Um, Cabello Mokowena, I'm looking for you to make an impact. Every goal matters here. Jan Schumacher five. It's been uninvolved. He's been making distracting runs. Arnu. Oh, he was looking for Torres, which is not a bad strategy these days. He's trying to feed that ball to Torres. All right, Van den Bowman. Oh, oh, have it. Have it. Have it. Oh, my goodness. once in a lifetime for Luis Torres a double hat trick and it's the best of the bunch for the Mexican magician what a goal from Luis Torres on the night of his life oh give him another one let's get that haul in nine Let's get the hall. Come on. Averaging a goal every 10 minutes for the first hour of the match. Ah, Mika Faye. Just somebody find him. Somebody find There he is. Louis. Luis. He's in a predatory mood today. First touch right towards the goal. Wow. I don't know if I've, I, I mean this, I don't know if I've ever had a player score six goals in a non-cup match. What you are witnessing is just historic. Uh, yo, our new. So our goal difference is now plus 24, which means it's better than Lyon's as well. See if we can queue up another Torres banger here. Montiel, Mika Fey, Branco, Rodier, Rodier. Yeah, well, it wasn't Torres, so that's why he didn't go in. Yeah, that, and for, Tor for his sixth goal to be, like, just a banger. Mika, come on. Ruol had to bail you out, Mika. Let's turn up the field. They're not really guarding it. Oh, that, that was fine. Wing. Open all day. He can take it to the next level. There we go. Look at it. Oh, our new. Okay. Oh, yes. Torres. Cabela Mocoena. Extra man. Maxime. Chelsea scored. Wait, so it's 1-1. Yeah, they did. With their second shot. Not their first. With their second shot. That's when they got the goal. This is up two shots. They are tall. This team we are playing against is freaking tall. Who scored it? Uh, Connor Gallagher. They brought in Nkunku for Matoweke at halftime, and then Connor Gallagher scored in the 47th minute, so Chelsea is so back, dude.
Open up my eagle eyes. That's just injury prevention substitutions. Surely, surely not. Oh, Torres. In DRW, they give the 11 months. Thanks for supporting the stream, dude. Enjoy the bacon of the emotes if you haven't been already. Oh, Bondo, cheeky. What's well, there? Arnu is there. It's Nicholas Arnu. I can't say if Gallagher is good or not. I think, I think the exact answer is Gallagher is good, but not great. Everybody's always trying to find out if a player is great or not. I think Gallagher is the type of player that can be one of the better players on an upper mid-table team. But he's not, you know. I, I think if you put him on City, he is a rotational player at best. I think that, you know, that level is where he's at. Yeah, I feel like every, we're always trying to figure out if a player's great or bad. Sometimes you're just, like, a good player, you know? Like, All right, Bundo, Bravo, look at the wing. Oh, Torres connecting the lines, still putting in the work in the 92nd minute after having scored six goals. I like that aggression. 7-2, dude. We are absolutely cooking. Chat. What a game. What a performance by Luis Torres. A truly unbelievable performance with six goals in, a, in, a, in an important league match. I mean, oh. just a ridiculous performance. From Luis Torres, who's not even been a full-time starter this year. He has earned that job with good form recently over Warren Bondo, but... Yeah, there's anything higher than a 10.0, he should be getting it. Uh, so it's a hamstring strain that'll keep uh, Shelter up likely out. Look, I got it. You score six goals. Yeah, I got I to hit him with the you're freaking awesome. Our team cohesion's all the way up to good as well. Considering it was in the dumps last year, we've managed to turn that around and got a team that's playing well, playing together. I'm, I'm over the moon, dude. I, I think we're... Really in serious business. Actually, let me, uh, yeah, that's fine. Those seven guys, go get your sharpness. Nice one. That's good for us, though. That's good for us. That gives us a three-point advantage over Laws to stay. It We're in Champions League spots now. We are legitimately in the Champions League spots now. Uh, nice winning means that us winning the league is basically out of the question because they're now at 67 points. Uh, there's six clear of us with three matches to play. Um, 93rd minute goal from Mitrovic to win it. So the perfect result, which would have been a draw, was uh, taken away from us so rudely. But Lons losing means that top four is in our hands by three points. No matter what happens with Lyon. So of course, I, I think that we'll see. Let's they've got more matches to play. More matches to play. Vios in, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream with five dollars of Jeff Bezos money. We broke our league goal scoring record. Nice. Frat. And now we play Clermont Foots. Okay, so Lyon plays Stade de Rime. Monaco plays Montpellier. Lyon plays Nantes. Those are the uh, those are the teams. Oh, did is the Coupe de France over? No, Lyon and Marseille are playing. And why it's it's giving us the seventh your seventh European spots there, but now it's just messing with us. 
You guys have started a riot uh, to St. Luis Torres. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think that as awesome as it was, as legendary of a single game performance it was, I don't think it's enough to be canonized as a saint. I don't. I think it's enough that we will always re fondly remember Luis Torres, like a Kevin Barrientos, for example. But the people that become saints for single match feats uh, are typically in, like, trophy-winning moments. Leo lost again, by the way. And while that was an important match, right, if you, like, I, I think if we start Warren Bondo instead of Luis Torres, we still win that game. And so, as awesome as it was, and I look, chat, you and I always, chat, you and I disagree sometimes about who's a saint and who's not. Leon did win against Stade de Reim, so they take up third. And we are in fourth, three points clear of Lens and Monaco in Champions League position, which is ridiculous. Decanonize mass, then? Look, I... there. <laughs> There's a certain element of, you know, a lot of players we agree on, but every once in a while there is a member of the football manager sainthood that we don't agree with. All right, so fourth would be the Champions League playoff. Third, you're just in the Champions League. So us jousting with Lyon is actually very important because if you go third, you're just automatically in the Champions League group stage. Uh, if you go a fourth, you have to go through two playoff rounds to get to the Champions League uh, group stage, which could obviously be very perilous, although it still means you get to play in Champions League matches, which is huge. Um, Mamadou's on a master class. Cool. I'm glad he's... Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad he's out there earning it. His value is much higher than we were initially anticipating as well. Well, Rodier, you are going to be the starter, okay? Because there's no shelter up for the next four weeks with that injury. So it's all Maxime Rodier and Nicholas Arnau, who are basically, in a lot of ways, tall, direct dribblers on either wing. They're very similar. So we're just spamming two of the same player right up the side of the teams we're playing against. But I, look, Luis Torres, see, it's, it's, it's the same as, like, you're either good or bad. Or you're either great or bad. I will always fondly remember Luis Torres. He's the guy that anytime you're like, what's the most goals somebody scored in a match for you? It's like, oh, it's Luis Torres. Scored six goals in a league match that was quite important that we did need to win. So on this particular occasion, we just differ. What should Z do? What, what is happening? Decanonize Mass or canonize Luis Torres? Sixteen years old. Why does he want a loan at sixteen? Said <laughs> you lost control. It's flying off the rails, brother. No, I, 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 like, Mateo Mass always gets a lot of hate. But that dude, if his name wasn't Mateo Mass, and if we'd spent $10 million on him instead of $95 million, he would be a saint. He had so many good years for us. He won so many trophies with Taunton. He was a part of the, you know, like, a, a, an important part of the teams that won all the things with Taunton. Like his raw, his raw stats and his impactful moments over the course of that save. That's why he got in. That's why. That's why he became one of the uh, one of the saints of FM. Because you have your longevity saints and you have impactful moment saints.
Grant Lee Poor was robbed. That dude was good. Grant Lee Poor is a real good player. Super tall fullback, Grant Lee Poor. 18 jumping reach, world class left back. Adai deserves sainthood instead of uh, Mateo Bass. Adai was great, dude. He just, you know, I have him and um, Budak Incha in kind of the same category, you know. Jaden Adai and Budak Incha were both crucial to the team, but just weren't that last step up. I love Warren Bondo, dude. He's so good. Can play like five positions in my tactic without missing a beat. Just in any sort of pinch that you'd find yourself in. All right. If Leal loses this, we're guaranteed Europe. That's the deal. Uh, I mean, we're already basically guaranteed Europe, but anything but a win for Leal in this match means we are guaranteed a spot in a European competition next year. First season in League All, we are guaranteed Europe. That was certainly not guaranteed at the beginning of this stream. We were right on the line, and we have done nothing but win league matches this whole stream. And that has put us in commanding position for a European place. We have that European place. Marseille is actually trying to reel Lille in. That was a huge match for them. They might be able to catch Lille for seventh. Which means even if they if they catch them for seventh, even if they lose the cup final, Marseille is going to a European competition. Yeah, I usually like rock remixes of songs. This one's actually pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Idaho meeting when it comes to Europa League qualification. We're going to ease expectations. Uh, I want you all to go out there and have fun. What'll be, you'll be, you know? Allow our football to do the talking. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. Just want to relieve the pressure on you guys. Because, like, you know, I, I get it. Every match is important. Um, I get it. Every match is important. We need Louise me to get sharp. We might need Louise me right at the end of the season. So get me more Louise me cruise. All right, Lyon, come on, Strasbourg. Come on, Strasbourg. Give me some Strasbourg. Take a point off Lyon. We have them beat on goal difference right now. Just take a point off them. Take a point. That gives us the route. We now control our own. I mean, we always controlled our own destiny, but now we control it with a draw in the final match. And we play Claremont Foot, who are in 16th. Angers is in 18th. They have 14 points. Stade Brestois is in 17th. They have 16. And then this is the playoff spot. Claremont Foot has managed to somehow, well, because they've won three of their last four, actually. A draw away against Lyon, and they beat Angers, Reim, and Stade Brestois in a three different six-pointers. And they pulled themselves up by the bootstraps. They've gone from, you know, seven straight losses. They were at the bottom of the league to they are in 16th, trying to reel in Mets, who's four points away. So credit where it's due, dude. Credit where it's due. They are or they're they're in good form right now, even though they're in sixteenth. So we gotta keep our wits about us. This is not gonna be a, a dog walking. You know, this is gonna be a a competitive match. All signs point to it'll be a competitive match. We appreciate them taking a point off Leon, honestly. 
We play Claremont, and then we play Stade de Reim. And then we play Lyon. That's our run-in at the end of the season. Those three matches. Yeah, Strasbourg had beaten PSG, which is why PSG is not at the top of the league. So them getting the draw against Lyon was helpful. With a win, we're ahead of Lyon on goal difference in third in the league. If we want to win the league, Nice has to lose to Nantes today. Uh, or we basically have no chance. So PSG plays at Monaco. Uh, pfft, screw it. I mean, if we want to win the league, right, Monaco winning would put us a point behind PSG. Our, our season, like, if, like if you go to uh, past positions, our season's going to look just insane. We we have not been like in these spots all year. We've just, we after match day one we were in fourth after a one goal win over Angers, who are in dead last in the league right now, and we went down to thirteenth and just have battled our way back up to European places. Hot diggity dog go team. We're a great we're a great stock. I would I would buy. Laws won. So they're keeping it spicy. They're trying to get Champions League. Laws gets the win over Montpellier, which means we need at least a point in this match to be ahead of Laws in fourth. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Stade Bristois is also playing Mets. So that's a huge match in the relegation realm as well. Kovacevic, Ramsey, Ruol, Fay, Montiel, Vandenbaum, and Martins, Arnoux, Torres, Rodier, Schumacher. We are missing an attacking winger, which will be Luis Cruz. What are they playing? 4 2 3 1. I see. I see. What are you just copying me? Ridiculous. Everybody knows the 4 2 3 1 is just my formation. Just relax. Play your natural game. I'm going to come out here and I, I have trust in you. I believe in you guys. On the road against Claremont Foot, who are in great form. They've got 10 from their last four matches to get themselves into the promotion or the relegation playoff instead of automatic relegation. I mean, Torres has been in good form for the last month and a half. Now, six goals is another level, but he has been in good form for the last month and a half. All right, come on now. Come on now. Good performance, Franco. And Torre. Oh, that bro. Dude, if I had a dollar for every time my two wingers put the ball in Rosie, particularly Rodier and Arnoux. Uh, yeah, it's not really Torre. Oh, Rodier. Well, there you go. We're making donations to the front row. Do you want a ball? You want a ball? Here we go. Here's your ball. Rodier? Oh. All right, Jan Schumacher, Ramsey, Branko! Branko Vandenbomen! He 
It's a lovely finish from the captain to help set the tone. And what was a nervy first 15 minutes gives way to a jubilant goal-scoring celebration. He just got a toe to that before the defender arrived. Nice, dude. You want that early goal. You don't want to start chasing and then you end up losing the match and that could knock us out of Champions League entirely. So you got that going on. Mets is winning, which is very relevant for the team we're playing, actually. Claremont Foot would be locked into at least the promotion playoff. Oh, but Nice is losing. Nice is losing 3-0. Juan Bernat has scored three... Sorry, different guy. Jan Bernat, apparently has three goals in the first 23 minutes, and Nice is losing. And PSG is drawing, which means somehow we would be three points off the top of the league. Uh, like, thank you, Nice. But right now on the live table, with everybody having played the same number of matches, if the results held, we are three points off the top of the league right now. Uh, like, sure. Arnoux. Oh, baby. Nicholas Arnoux. Torres. I don't blame him for that. And it was a cool turn, but he could have turned into the space and it would have been probably more effective. Yeah, if Monaco can beat PSG, then uh, PSG is only a point ahead of us with two matches left in the season. Who would have thought we'd be there? Yo, Ramsey. Oh, come on, Schumacher. I feel like that's a ball that Cabello Macawena is able to win for me. I want another goal. I want another goal. Things are getting spicy now. Let's make sure we take care of this business. This Claremont foot looks a lot more competitive than Stad Brestois did. Ooh, nice, Torres. Oh, play it. One more. One more. Fight, dear Lord, Schumacher. Jan. Jan, Mr. 18th best wonder kid in the world. Have you ever seen? That's a touch was a little loose when he cut in. Good run, Rodier. I saw it. Jan just couldn't figure it out. There you go, Arnoux. Just made some good runs today. Keep it moving. Martins, Rodier. That was better. That wasn't in row Z. I appreciate that. A press, a pressure off. Questions to be asked to the goalkeeper, but a goal for Mika Fay. Senegalese international Mikael Fay. I'll give you that. Nice. Rodier. Chill. Oh, nice, Ramsey. Arnoux. Arnoux. All right, as long as it's our highlight, that's good. Keep it being our highlight. All right, halftime. Monaco PSG 0-0. Nil -nil. Nantes is still beating Nice 3-0. I saw that. So the uh, race for maybe even a potential league title is miraculously going to still be on with two matches to go. We just have to keep winning. I told you, what if we just go out and win every match we have left in the season? What would happen? We might be able to find out. All right, the rest of the scores. We Mets is still winning, and obviously the Longs match happened earlier. So these are these are the two scores we're locked in on. ESG and Monaco. As long as we can take care of business here. Give me Moko Wena. Schumacher's angering me today. Our new out for uh, Indala. We've got options. You know, if these guys aren't delivering, we've got other options. There you go. We both have options. All of those spots. Gonzalo Montiel, Rodier. Oh, uh, well, the counter press is working. 
They can't really get anything going. That is so bad, Mika. Mika, that's just flat. It's flat as tap water. Okay, that's okay. Didn't give up anything weird. That's fine. Scottish Cow, thank you for the prime, by the way. Sorry I didn't see that until now, but thank you for supporting the stream, dude. The freeway. Free $5 of Jeff Bezos money. Mokowena. Oh, Ruol's there! Goal! The Anthony Ruol has scored, and St. Etienne can feel the three points now. Capella Mokowena with the assist. Because he has eyes unlike Jan Schumacher, who it's been scientifically confirmed, cannot see. Franco. Torres. Oh, Mika Faye. Oh, Mika Faye. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, well, Torres, if it was last match, he's finishing that off. <laughs> Mika Faye going on a rampage. He said, watch this. Ready out. Max, oh, I like them moves. Hey, Saints can miss shots, all right? So it's not like all of a sudden he misses one shot and you're like, well, we shouldn't have seen it, Torres. No, people had a case. It was close, you know, but I, it, I think... It wasn't quite there. What a goal. Wow. Goodness gracious. Smack the cover off that. I'm coming with you, Diambury. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Torres. He's tired. I got Warren Bindo as a better defender, too. Yeah, that's a banger. Dude was getting body checked and still caught this volley just on the nose. Doof. Oh, it hit uh, Rual too. It hit him right in the thigh. That sucks. All right, Claremont trying to pull something special to help their uh, help their case. They're not losing any ground because Stade Brestois is losing as well. Okay, guys, guys, let's get the ball now. All right, force the long ball, win the, no, Rual, Rual. God, you had a clear shot at that. And you just stapled a header right to them. My goodness, big save by uh, Kovacevic there. Got big, and that went off our defender, actually, but he was able to save it. Goodness gracious, man. Fine. Result is literally all that matters, so. Oop. Sneaky. Sneaky. I see you. Full-blown formation switch with a couple of minutes left. Love that from them, though. Shaka Komye, only guy left over from the, when we got here. Most of the guys wanted to leave the team because they'd been relegated, not Shaka. And he's deservingly to be rewarded with whatever we can accomplish this season. Oh, let's go, Ramsey. Let's go, Calvin Ramsey. Um, we Okay, thank you. Thought he wasn't going to get that for a second. Oh, that's a fun spot. Nice. Oh, Mokowena. Oh, whatever. Well collected by Martins. That's a pass and a half. All right, middle, 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 middle. That works. Louise me. Back from his injury. Might be onside. One more. 
One more. Everybody sees it. It's Branko. One touch and shoot. We can kill out. We, we, we can just kill the rest of the game. I don't have time wasting all the way up. What am I doing? Oh, oh, there you go. Now get the change in. Waste as much time as you can over in that corner. All right. We may, you know, I, I, I felt the nerves jangling a little bit when they scored that first goal and started getting a couple of highlights, but we're doing a really good job of just run. You know, it's already been a minute and a half since we started this whole corner procession. There we go. Kept the ball down the field for a good couple of minutes. I love the creativity, Conwar. Thank you for the nine months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Dyron, thank you for the prime. Thank you for spending five dollars a jet. We just spent fifteen dollars of Jeff Bezos money with delusion as well. Thank you for the twenty-three months. I got ads would remind it reminded me to renew my sub. Yes. If, if you like subbed and then you get ads and you're like, wait a second. Wow. All right. Two matches left, chat. And we are in third, and it is final. Monaco and PSG ended nil-nil. Nice lost 3-1 to Nantes. We are three points off of Nice. We are in third, ahead on goal difference, on Lyon. Lons is within three points of us with a very good goal difference as well, so it is all in the balance going into the last two match days. It really can't get quite closer than this around the Champions League, around the title. Uh, this is, you know, the, the, these are the moments where legends can be made, you know. Either a miraculous league title or a tragic fall to six, they're all in play, which is incredible going into the last two matches. But uh, really, it's incredible we even managed to put ourselves in this position considering where we were for most of the season, which is down in 13th up to ninth, you know, we were hanging out there like, man, maybe if we have a good run, we could get into Europe, but champions league seemed a little out of reach. And now, uh, now we're in it. <sighs> so Sonata, good night. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs earlier in the kind words. Oh, did you, uh, did you send me Mika's face? All right, I'll get it in. Yeah, I get it. There you go. All right, let's get Mika Faye's face in. <laughs> Mika, what is that? Peepo cheer? Big fan of the Peepo cheer. All right, Mika Faye, who's been a regular on our back line for two years. That is Mika Faye. He's in Barcelona's academy in real life. Mikhail Faye. Club, yeah, club legend, baby. Wow. 
so many different things could happen in these last two matches. It's quite incredible. It's quite incredible. Uh, Reams beat Angers, which basically consigns Angers to automatic relegation and means Reem is officially safe. Metz is nearly officially safe. It's Stade Brestois and Claremont Foot deciding who gets sent down and who ends up in the relegation playoff. Lille is still in seventh. Marseille lost. Nantes won, which means Nantes is now contending for that last European spot as well. Marseille also has the cup final. Dude, every part of the league, there's something really, really interesting going on that's, like, awesome. And that is that is fun. I am really enjoying Ligue 1. Louise Me Cruz is somehow just... It, dude was hurt for, like, two months, and he comes back, and now all of a sudden he's suspended for the next... How? He was... <laughs> A yellow card away from suspension, got hurt for two months, comes back, plays one game, gets the yellow card off the bench, mind you. And well, now we're not going to have another wing sub. Uh, Bondo is going to take the role of the wing sub. Lalamala Bad Boy continues to play for Nemo Olympic. He's getting a lot smarter, which is nice. That is nice. So we have a Saturday match. So we're going early. We won't really, I almost kind of prefer that. We won't really know what's happening. Because the majority of matches are always on Sunday. Be a little out of the loop, you know. Scout the under-20 World Cup? Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be going on until after the season. But it will be around. Oh, Carlos Barcones, our head of sports science, is retiring at the end of the season. So let's give him something special, huh? Wow, Rual and Mika Faye were both team of the week players at center back. We love to see that. Believe it or not, player of the month with four appearances, seven goals and one assist is Luis Torres. Van den Bowman had three goals and three assists. He's woken up. 8.07 average in four appearances. And he dedicates the award to me. Chat. The journey we have been on from the beginning of this save to get a Continental Pro license, the highest level license you can have as a coach in the game. And we have gotten it. Saint Etienne funding our coach our Continental Pro. Shout out to Nock Breda, who funded two of our licenses. But we have a Continental Pro license. We have the highest certification in the game, and our license will no longer be an issue when it comes to applying and getting jobs. St. Zealand. Yes, I would be honored. But we have a Continental Pro license. We have a Continental Pro license. We've made it. It took six seasons. To go from no badges to all of the badges, but we now have all the badges. CJ just no, he's not very uh he's actually he's really not bad, but we have other players that are better, thank you. Thank you for the five gifted. So, Sonata, thank you for the 15 gifted today. I really appreciate you supporting the stream. It means a lot to me and the whole team, and I appreciate your kind words again earlier. I thought you were going to bed, dude. You said you got young kids. Go take care of them. <laughs> but I appreciate the five more gifted subs. If you got one, be sure to say thank you. Send some love So Sonata's way. And uh, Coop, Matt, Donnie, Iranis, Lely, welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy your ad-free experience. I uh, guess now it's mathematically official. We have guaranteed, well, I feel like we mathematically guaranteed it before the last match, but whatever.
It's no matter. Is the plan to save for another seat? I mean, look, it depends on what's out there. It depends on what the board decides to give us. If I think we can compete for trophies next year while being in Europe, there's no reason not to stay. But, you know, our goal is, again, to get to the top of the, the game. And if we, you know, if Real Madrid, Barcelona, AC Milan, like if those teams come calling, Bayern, Dortmund, it's hard not to pick up the phone, you know, and now we've got a Continental Pro license and a ton of European street cred in a top league. Good night this time for real. See you later, Sosadada. Thank you for the 15 gifties. Have a good one. Uh, qualification for the Europa League is ours if we win here. But just go out there and have fun. Everyone will be... Oh, no. I don't know what they wanted me to say, honestly. It wasn't bad. Like, it only did a little, but it wasn't good, which is more of the concern. Because our expectation, our season preview is like, what, 10? Got all the way up to 8 by the end of the window. But, like, we're not supposed to be battling for all this. And so the last two times I've just eased expectations. I've been like, yo, dude, no pressure. Like, go out there and just have a good time. Oh, this is huge. God, Marseille, you couldn't help out at all. Not only did you let them win, you let them win by such an amount that we can't cover that goal difference even on our best day. We're not winning the league. That's GG's niece with a monster win over Marseille, who is playing for a spot in, like, they have a freaking shot at Europe if they didn't lose by a billion. It's funny, I, like, hit continue before I realized that was an important match. I, I literally hit continue before I realized that was. So if we win this match, like, five by five or six goals, it is possible for us to win the league on the final day. Because they have a 10-goal advantage. What they, they would need to lose... And we would obviously have to win our next two matches. But if they lose and we win, you can swing the goal difference a couple. The problem is we're, you know, 10 back. You need, you need to spot yourself five or six goals in this match. The most important thing is getting three points by a mile. But if we have the opportunity to chase goals in this game, we will. I will put us on very attacking if we're all up like three or four. And I feel really comfortable about the way we're playing. Because goal difference could be what determines the league title now. And we may be able to catch. But we have to, yeah, I mean, we have to play one of those like 7-2 type games that we just played. We have to play one of those right now. Or the league is out of reach. You never know. Maybe we'd like beat Lyon 4-0 or something. Just like have a great day on the final day. They play Angers, which is annoying because that's the worst team in the league. So if Angers can steal something from them, I, I mean, it's Angers' last chance to not get automatically relegated, that'd be awesome. But don't think we can count on that one. Uh, okay, you, and then Bondo, and then Amugu. Amugu, yay. All right, we know the lineup by now. Torres, Rodier, Arnu, Schumacher. Uh, Martins, Vanden Bowman, Montiel, Faye, Rual, Ramsey. What a team. What a team. Very aggressive fullbacks. Well, guess what? I'm on the lookout for very aggressive. It's a very fluid, aggressive, deep team they have. We're at home. I like that. 
We win this match, we could hang on to, uh, we win this match, we do hang on to third. And we lost to Reem at their place earlier in the season. All right. I would love to see us win, like, 6-1. <laughs> Just to leave open, like, this very, very barely, like, a barely open cracked door for us to be able to get to Nice. Also, we need PSG to drop points at some point. <laughs> we need them to lose one of their final two matches because we are in third. But to mathematically be alive for the league title on the final day is something that was beyond our wildest dreams when we got here. That would have been a nice start. Absolutely packed house. You guys remember when we were playing last year in the second division? This place was half full. We have brought St. Etienne all the way back. Oh, Branko, way to hustle, though. He has been fantastic. All right, our new Torres with the underlap. Oh, hello. That hit the post. Sadarim is safe, so they're not playing for anything. They have no chance at Europe. They are safely in the league. They're playing carefree. Ramsey. It's Joao Martins. Torres, early goal would be nice. And he continues to hunt, but not as effectively. Kyrie, thank you for the three months. I appreciate your support in the stream. Nikki, thank you for the prime. Delicious, thank you for the prime. We are flying through Jeff Bezos' money right now. Thank you for supporting the streams. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't see that defender. <laughs> it's like he's wide open. Rodier. Maxime Rodier. Looking for Jan. That's a tough ask. He's not the tallest guy. Okay, I, I like the way we're applying pressure right now. Not, oh. Apparently that's the highlight, but he shot that from 40 yards. I have to be okay with that. I got neither of those was a foul. Schumacher just able to clear. Oh, hello. Nice play by Montiel. Rodier in the middle. It's Torres. It's Luis Torres. Good pass to Ramsey. Good side to side. Ramsey, Arnu, it's there. It's there. Schumacher just got bullied off it right at the end. Oh, Rodier. Maxime. I thought that guy had headed it back to his keeper who was on the ground. I thought that ball was going in. It was very deceiving. They're safe at 29. Yeah, I mean, you play like four less matches in France. And uh, there are three teams that are still in the teens. So they are safe. Apparently safe from our offense as well. We're going to go into attacking. Get an aggressive mindset. Get an encouraged shout out there. Try and get some wind in the sails since we're not really up to anything. Okay, I like a highlight. Don't like where we're starting it, but I like a highlight. Nice block, Mika Fey. It's like threw his butt at it, dude. It worked. I'm not I'm not questioning his methods. Oh, there you go. Schumach five, getting speedy. He just glides so fast.
All right. The shooting's not been good enough for to try and fire the guys up with that. Schumacher's apprehensive. We don't need that. Cabela Mocha win us here for a big match. We're going to get a halftime sub. Stick it. Uh, we're going to stay on attacking, but I am going to lower the tempo because we have struggled for possession in this match. They were highlighting that uh, halftime data presentation as well. They have not kept the ball well at all. And they have. They really have kept the ball well. Oh, nice, Mika. There you go. Now we can look for a counter here because we've got great counter players in there. That yellow ref. I mean, seriously, referee. Let's be so serious for a second, ref. Mika. Branko. Oh, that's, that's a cross field right there. Miscontrolled by our new. Oh, Jean Martins loves spreading the wealth, making him defend the whole field. Our news there. Goal! Oh, there's the goal. It's our new. Dude, how often does he do this? He is just a big physical winger, and I, he's been up and down as a playmaker, but he can finish off a cross, man. He can finish off a cross. He has done that so much in this last month and a half. <sighs> We're alive. We're still alive for the league. We're not blowing him out, but we are still alive. The points are huge for Champions League position because fourth, we have to go into the Champions League uh, qualifying rounds. If you finish third, you're right into the Champions League group stage. Martins. Montiel. Oh, great first touch by Rodier. Mokowina! He is on side. Yes! Cabello Mokowina! The South African sensation just beats his defender to the spot and then scores with ease. Sub, sub. Hey. Sub, uh, no, we've got fired up right now. We'll let that go until we're uh, done. But the boys are the boys are gassed up. Give me Bondo, actually. Give me Bondo, Bondo, Bingo, Bango, Bondo. That guy. Luis Torres is on a 6.6, .6, and I feel like if we have a guy that's playing well at attacking midfield in this team, we might be able to get a couple more goals and just keep that league alive. That league hope. You got a chance to win a trophy. You got to go for it. Arnoux. Rodier. Oh, it's Cabello. Oh, look at the speed. He went for the back heel. No dice. Rodier. Yes. 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 Maxime Rodier. A moment of individual brilliance from Maxime Rodier. This is it. This is the awakening in the second half that we needed. Not only to get the three points, which are huge, because we haven't even guaranteed getting into the fourth yet. You know, it depends on what happens in the other matches. Oh, my goodness. It's ours. Let's get a fourth. We get a fourth. We're only six goal difference behind Nice, which would be, I mean, that's doable. Like, if they have to lose and we have to win, you can cover six. Like, it's not impossible. They lose by two. We win by four. I know it's a it's a one percent, but it's there. If we can get, oh look at that, Ramsey! What a play by Ramsey! One more, Bondo back to him. No, oh the defender misplayed this. He followed the ball. It was wide open. Look at Mokawena. Oh, oh, just get it back to Cabello. Yeah, Nice are top right now. PSG play tomorrow. We'll see what happens with them. Branko, oh no. Ramsey, yes, Branko. Oh, I like the spot. Oh, Rodier. Branko again, Montiel. Don't hate it. Rual, a weird spot for you to end up in. Bad spot to lose the ball. 
All right, we're winning sprinting. Now oh, we got our shape back. Look at the hustle, Arnu. Hell yeah, dude. That was a great play by Arnu. We're the only match being played right now. So all of France is watching us lay it down. Give me four. Oh, Mika. Almost. Means the highlight is something else. Hopefully, well, that's definitely us. Okay, Martins. Rodier. Branco. Like the pace on that. Bondo. Okay. Go on attacking? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. We are absolutely all over them. Uh, I'm thinking we go... I told you if I got in this position and I felt comfortable, I was going to chase it. I don't feel comfortable, but I'm going to chase it. I think I just don't feel comfortable because who would in this situation? There's so much in play at the same time. We're up by three goals. We can react if they score, but let's go after it, dude. Let's go after it. Bondo. Oh, Branco. That's all right. Counter press got us the ball. Come on, boys. Martins, who's really grown into the team this season. Martins. Oh, that's a dud. Why did I compliment you? Oh, Montiel pulling a Ramsey. Oh, it was open, Bondo. Good God, man. Make the pass. Bro, that, please tell me that was deflected. Thank you. Davey, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you for the 29 months, Davey. Thank you for supporting the stream. And then thank you for making somebody's day. Getting Pepin in on the hammers, giving him the ad-free experience. I am going to praise. Come on. Two more goals. And it is, you know, every goal we can score here makes it infinitely so off. He's so far offside. Good. We saved the miss for an offside. Good. Very attacking. Feels unnecessary, but we, uh, you know, a goal. Uh, a goal could give us a chance to win the league. Just one. All right. We're, even though we've been playing really well with that setup, I'm going to get aggressive. Come uh, on, guys. One goal. Uh. No, most of my subs are defensive. I don't have the same wing subs that I've had in the past. So most of the subs we can make are very defensive, so I don't want to make them. Martins. Oh, it's there. Mokawena. Drawing the defender who actually defended that so incredibly well. I'm kind of furious. He's still almost scored. That defender did unbelievably well there. Well, that's ours. Easy. Montiel making him look like a fool. Martins. Branco. Mokowena. Bondo. Oh, it's Bondo. Oh. Um... I guess I'll go with Indala for our new, just for a couple of minutes of sprinting. And I'll go Bravo, just have him on attack, just get his height up there. And Jacques Ecomier, even though both the fullbacks played really well. We don't want him to get hurt. Montiel gets hurt a little easy. And I'm sure at this point, the fresh legs would just help. Oh, the highlight is still going. I thought it was over. Give me that goal. Rodier, Warren Bondo. Still Warren Bondo. Still Warren Bondo. Still Rodier! Goal! Every goal is huge. Can we get another one? Every goal is massive. Can we get another one to make it even easier on the last day? Maxime Rodier doing Maxime Rodier things. Probably not. Yeah, no, we're going to have to live with that. The goal difference uh, is six. 
So I think maybe we can win by three. We're going to need Nice to choke pretty hard. Martins. Oh, come on. This would be huge. Although that's definitely the end of match, though. All right, we're doing what we can. Big 4-0 win over Stad the Ream. It was nil-nil at halftime, so we've got to be happy with that. Yes. That might have guaranteed Champions League, depending on what happens tomorrow. Uh, if if Laws uh, is not able to win, then we have guaranteed Champions League. At least the playoff. We are ahead of PSG. They play tomorrow. No, Mika. Mika, good God, man. How are you having a fitness concern, Mika? We've been playing one match a week, dude. I want him to be there for the end of the training, but I'll rest him through the hard part of the training. I just want him there for the match focus and the routines. All right, huge day of matches. If Laws do anything but win, we're good. If PSG lose, then that opens up a dance between us and Nice for the league title on the final day. Obviously, we won. Lyon won four nil. We expected them to do that, so they are. Um, you know, our goal difference is level with them. We're guaranteed at least Europa League. I uh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, I am, because Europa League's here. <laughs> Fair. I am guaranteed at least Europa League, because the lowest I can finish is fifth. That does track. So, Leon and I are level on points. What is PSG going to do? What is Nice going to do? What is... Or, they already played. What is Long... They play each other. Oh, give me a draw. That would be an all-time result. Actually, no, a draw doesn't help. Weirdly enough, if we want to win the league... <laughs> We probably need Laws to win, but Laws winning means that we could miss the Champions League entirely. So no matter what happens, we've accomplished something. Either we have a shot to win the league, like really, or we've guaranteed Champions League. A draw, PSG has a better goal difference than us, which means we need them to drop points in the final match day, and PSG is never likely to drop points. So uh, Monaco is out of reach of us so they're we're not paying attention to their matches anymore uh stad brestois is playing Lille. they're contending with claremont foot at the other end of the table and claremont is playing mets and if they beat mets they actually could just be safe mets is five points ahead of them with two matches to play so there is a ton going on at every level they lost it hasn't popped yet. It hasn't popped up yet, but they lost. We clinched Champions League. Or they they drew. They lost or they drew, but we have clinched. Wow. We, in our first season, bro, in our first season, they gave us $36 million as a transfer budget and $70 million payroll. It's not a huge upgrade. They basically just gave us a bit more transfer budget. Our first season, Salt McTavish. Oh, they got hammered. Oh, they got smacked. PSG's not messing around. They are not messing around. Salt McTavish, thank you for making 10 people's days and giving 10 people the ad-free experience. Claremont Foot drew Mets, which means Mets is safe. Lille beats Todd Brestois, so Brest needs to win on the final day, and Claremont Foot needs to lose, or else Brest is going down to the second division. As for the last European spot, uh, Lille did turn in a big win. Nantes did not. They drew. Marseille is somehow down in 11th. There are literally... So Marseille and Rennes can't get it. Lorient and Nantes could catch Lille on the final day for the last European spot. What could be, could be the last European spot. So you're staying at St. Etienne. Uh, oh, we won the league for a second straight year with our reserves. That's awesome. Um, and hopefully we got some nice match fitness as well. At home against hated rivals, Olympic Lyon. If there is a loser of this match, they have to go through Champions League qualifying. The winner of this match will be in the Champions League group stage. If there's a draw, 
it's us. We have the better goal difference. Uh, if we win and PSG lose and Nice lose and our goal difference ends up equal or better than Nice, we will win the league. It is obviously very unlikely, but we are mathematically alive. So is, uh, so, you know, the whole top four, technically. Lyon is still technically there, but they have to cover 14 goal difference. We have to cover six. And 14, unless we have the meltdown of all meltdowns, is impossible, really. So it's just three that are in this dance now, even though four teams are mathematically alive for the league title on the final day, which is obviously the sign of a very fun season. Would I leave? Yeah, if if we get an offer from if I get an offer managerially from one of the big clubs that's, you know, the club obviously has to be in the Champions League now cuz we are in the Champions League next year. So I would only leave for a club that's in the Champions League, like a big club that's in the Champions League. Oh, it's my boy. I've watched it for 3 years on YouTube and finally in a stream. What's up, my dude? Well, we're about to wander into a very very important match. Moka can speak basic French. Kovacevic can speak good French. Okay. I need to see who plays in the last match. To, okay, I'll, uh, I'll go grab that then. Or some sort of uh, polar wager or something. Um, yeah, I don't know who Nice or PSG play. I don't know. Match day 34. Oh, they play Marseille. Nice play. They can't. Nice can't bottle it, dude. They're playing Claremont Foot, who are playing for something important. They will be motivated. They are playing to not get automatically relegated. But this is Nice's to win. PSG's got Marseille, who have a lot of talent, but they're having a down year, but they have a lot of talent. It's not an easy game for PSG. Best we can hope for here is a two-goal loss. Claremont Foot's not beating them by more than two, and two is generous, which means if we're going to win the league, we need Marseille's talent to show up, and we need to beat Lyon bad. We need to beat them by four. At minimum, we need a four-goal win. And look, we need a win. The first and most important thing is win the game. Because that gets us into the Champions League group stage with all the money and ad revenue and cachet and club reputation that that gives you. Juve lost. Oh, yeah, the matches. So Chelsea ended up winning. Uh, Connor Gallagher with two goals. Love that 91st minute. Hot diggity damn. Scored in the 91st, and then Enzo scored in the 94th. So Chelsea have flown up the table to 10th place absolutely exploded up the table um juventus did lose one nil can i get a yikes well that is an open invitation for inter to go ahead and uh <laughs> go ahead and take care of business now seven points clear with a match in hand that would be a pretty uh sizable collapse Wow, that is like the best start for like just an angsty teenage pop rock song. Let's make so let's let's make a special memory here, chat. Uh, this is for the title battle. I'm going to do the team talk. Ease expectations. Yes! Oh, that took nerves of steel because I borked the last one with the same mentality. Whew. Well, because that last one was for Europa League. I think that's why our team was like, I don't know. I think we can pull this off. Okay, Fire Tog is our depth option at striker. That's not a problem. He probably won't be. He won't be on the bench for this match. So we're okay. We got it. 
We reduced the pressure on our team because we are that was and that was for the title chase. So it was a team talk for something different. We've already had an unbelievable season. We got promoted. What's the wager? Dude, people have put 2K on Lyon. That's incredible. Well, the odds are 400 to 1, chat. So, uh, you know, while it, because it's mathematically possible, people are betting smart. Who's winning the league? Nice, PSG, Saint-Etienne, or Lyon? Because they are mathematically in it. The odds are just insane. Nice, obviously, is playing Claremont foot, but they could bottle it. PSG is playing Marseille. And then, of course, there's the long shot, us. Yeah, it's a great time to talk about a new contract rule. I mean, are you serious right now, dude? Are you serious right now? Is this a joke? The day before the match? Okay, my freaking technical director is just, it's just useless. Take the damn con, dude, the day on the, no way, no way. I'm sorry. How is that allowed in the, oh, it didn't affect his morale. Okay. All of the things I was about to say. I take him back. I never even said him. I take him back. All the things oh, I was about to unload. I take it back. <laughs> Never said him. I take it back. <sighs> no shelter up. But guys, remember what shelter up did to get us here. Guy missed the last month of the season with a hamstring injury. Oh, wait, he's cleared. But for who? Uh, Mikkel Brensis. I want to have a center back available. Simic can play right back if we get an injury, but shelter up is coming in for Mikkel Brensis. We can cover that with the people that we have right now. So Shelly is uh, there. Okay. Good, boys. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. What a final day. Four teams mathematically alive for the title. If we, again... If we win this match, we are guaranteed group stage the Champions League. Fourth in Ligue 1, you have to go through the qualifying in the Champions League to get to the group stage. So the winner of this match between us and Lyon will have that. If we win and PSG and Nice both lose, and we cover the goal difference, we are the league champion. We will be tracking the other scores. The most important thing is what we're doing right now on the field. It's Vladan Kovacevic. Calvin Ramsey, Anthony Ruol, uh, Anthony Ruol, Mika Fey, Santiago Montiel, Branko Vandenbomen, the captain, Joao Martins, Nico Arnu, <sighs> Luis Torres, Maxime Rodier, and Cabello Mokowina gets the start over struggling Jan Schumacher. We, we can't afford we can't afford another slow uh, another slow start. All right, get on Surdanovich. Get on Maxence Kakare. This is, on top of all of that, this is a huge derby. The mo like when I took the Saint Etienne job, I got DMs from Lyon fans like, I can't believe you're managing Saint Etienne. These teams hate each other. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs>
This is cinema. I agree. What an unbelievable first season in League All. We've defied all of our expectations. My wildest hope was top seven. We sit in third, alive for the league title on the final day. Let's do what we can to make that a possibility. Let's go. A derby that will be remembered for a very long time. No matter what happens tonight, we have brought St. Etienne all the way back. We have brought St. Uh, Etienne all the way back to be playing in a match of this magnitude. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Calm and ready. Whoop! It's a, oh, it's a yellow in the first minute. That's harsh. Our new, this is what he does. Oh, Ramsey. That was bold. That was bold. That was bold. Calvin Ramsey, got to be careful. We've trusted him all year on yellows. Jean Martins, Gonzalo Montiel, Gonzalo. Ah, uh, didn't have the pace. Mika Faye. Zweier Keta, yes, sorry, we're in the biggest match of the season. Thank you so much for raiding in, dude. Oh, I really appreciate it. I hope you had a great stream. Come on. I like, I like where this is shaping up. We just need to get it down the wing. Yes, that's the buildup. There you go. The underlap. Perfect. Our new Jean Martins! It's the kid! Jean Martins! Eat! Our new. Oh, nice, Ramsey. Let's go, Ramsey. Rodier, Torres. Shoot, Branco, what are you doing? That sucks. That was so well worked by Matoeke. That, that was really just perfectly worked by Matoeke. Oh, it's a bad pass by Branco. It's a bad pass by Branco. All right. Ours. Branco, let's go, Montiel. Okay. Faye, Martins. Oh, oh, he didn't need to play him. Got there. Oh, no, but what just happened? I didn't even see that.
Oh, that might have gotten deflected like three times, dude. The, this was, I don't know what happened to this ball. It got deflected one, just once. Oh my god, what a save. Oh my god, what a save. Torres got this on target. Keep. One more, one more, no! Oh, he got it there, but too late. Oh, Torres. Nifty. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Martins. Oh, come on. Arnu. Oh, that's Rodier! Oh. Come on. Yeah, there's been a development. PSG has scored. I see that. So our chance to win the league is low. Nice was losing, but they have equalized. Oh, good God. PSG is winning by three. Yeah, we're not winning the league, Chet. Bellingham's got two in the first 22 minutes. So it's all between Nice and PSG now. PSG's running Marseille. So Nice uh, needs to win, basically. So we don't care about goal difference anymore, basically. Unless Marseille's about to score four of the most unlikely goals ever. We just care about getting this result. Because finishing third means we don't go to the playoffs of the Champions League. We go to the Champions League group stage. Where if we finish fourth, you end up in the playoff. And right now with the draw, because of goal difference, we are ahead of Lyon. But it's on a knife's edge. Ref, he just barged into him. Yeah, league phase, whatever. The group, singular group stage. Nice just scored their top. Went behind in a pin in the 12th minute, but they turned it around. They just scored. I'm going to focus our thoughts on possession. So halftime. Nice are winning. We are level. 45 minutes. And we finish in the top three in Ligue 1 in our first top flight season. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's not. Again, Branko, I'm looking at you. Been on a blinding run of form the last month and a half, but I'm looking at you right now. That ain't it. Oh, Mika, yes. Rodier. Oh, there we go. Ro Whoa. Come on. Be stronger in that run. That's a good ball. This is useful. Oh, I like that. Got an overload. Montiel's stuck on this side of the field. They keep passing him the friggin' ball. Franco, Rodier, Joao Martins. That's not his game. That's not his game at all. Frank. Oh, I like that. Dude, the midfielder is out of the way. Don't bring him back in. Every time we try to pass the ball to our new, they get it. He's a black hole. Ramsey, 
Thank you. We found him. Arnu. Montiel, Rodier, oh, he went for, I thought he was crossing that. Just stupid, they never cross it, but I'd encourage, get that shot in. We're in control, I'm looking at potential subs. Branco's just not doing it. I'm gonna go, um, I'm, he's got a 6.5, so no Branco today. I got Schumacher for Mokawena, Bondo for Branco. And we do have Shelter up. I'm going to put Shelter up in and see if we can get 30 minutes out of our uh, Starlet. Come on, boys. Shelter up, Bondo, and Schumacher. Surprise appearance from Shelter up. If he gets hurt, we do have, we want to save a sub because we know he's not 100%. Not fully fit. Oh, we're there. Oh, no, we're not. What the? Good play, Montiel. All right. Bro, two minutes? Physios, you said you didn't even need a fitness test. Two minutes? Dose? Is this a joke? Man, why? He did like the guy in the Super Bowl running on the field, just blew his entire leg out, like subbing in. Jeez. All right, Louise me's in. Good gracious. That Max Verstappen meme, Shelter up trying to get in in the final match day of the season. Oh, great run. Oh, and it's Martins. It's still all on a knife edge, but boy, we've looked good. Too soon on Greenlaw. I felt terrible for him when that happened. I feel terrible for Shelter up. My physio said he could come back, and it just blew a tire. Oh, they needed one more. You had Schumacher was just lurking. Oh, that's I got it. I got disoriented. Well, they took they took Cherky off. Oh, Luis B. Cruz! Would have been an, un, an unsung hero moment there. Guy that's barely played this year because he wasn't on the team the first half of the year. We were waiting for his contract to end, and then he got hurt for two months. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, come on, guys. Let's turn this into it. Let's turn this into a goal. Bondo. Warren Bondo. Warren Bondo! All right, just carry him to the corner. Good, good pass off, good shape, good tie up by our new. It's good defense that we're playing. Nice, our new, nice cruise. Oh, Luis B's not a physical guy. He's a really technical guy, creative guy, but if we're asking him to chase the ball over there, he's not going to win the race. Come on, baby, come on.
Oh, I love that. They're real high, which is I really wish we had a more pacey left wing. Like, you know, shelter up. Oh, nice Louise me? I take it back. Nice play. Our new. Just do what you do. Run to the corner and get that ball in. It's not a very good cross. Oh, Martins. Louise me Cruz! Pen! Well, ref, you want to explain to me why you think he didn't take the shot? The sign wasn't right. Mercury was in retrograde. Or he got fouled. Oh, nice. Oh, Torres. What a play by Torres. That's outside the box, bro. Now, we don't need to attack. We can't win the league because of results elsewhere. A draw is enough. So we're not going to open ourselves up too much. I need to say this is outside the box. I'll be really stunned. We deserve it if it's in the box, but it's not. It's still a really good free kick spot. And he handed out a yellow, which I appreciate. So let's head to the bench. We have one substitution left. So when I... So what I want to do is bring in Bravo here and then switch him with Bondo and then move Cruz into the middle and put Warren Bondo out wide because he's more athletic. And then Cruz is playing in the middle, which is, he, is something he's, like, you know, I would say much more suited to. No, Bondo is. Damn it. Why? Like, Cruz, you're so weird. Whatever. Um, okay, but Bravo in for sure. Bravo's a defensive beast. He's going in for Torres, the last 10. All right. We don't want Luis me running. When he receives it, we want him passing it back like that. That's bad. That's bad. There's no reason to be doing that. That's bad. Not looking to see it out to the end of the game, but that's a bad giveaway. Oh, block it! He was off, though. He was off. It was still nerve rattling, but he was offside. Oh, they've switched to a a seven three. They uh, they're chilling. They're not. They know they need a goal, or else we beat them in the league. Oh, Ramsey. Draw is enough. A draw is enough. We got to manage it like a draw is enough because a draw is enough. Keep your butt back there, Calvin. Nice, Mika. Louise me. Guy's apparently a world-class defender. Who knew? Nice flick on header by Arnu to get the ball out. finished third we have finished freaking third in the league in our first season we have guaranteed that we will be in the champions league group stage next season at saint etienne in our first season i wasn't key our, our match was so uh intense 
Nice won. So Nice won the league. Nice won, and so they've won the league. They scored two goals late to see it out. PSG won 4-0, but it didn't matter. That was a champion's final day from both of them, but Nice have won the league title with their win on the final day. And our draw has put us in third place in league all. We ended five points behind. Our first season in the top flight. Our first season. Champions League proper. Instantly. Shelter up just rolled his ankle. Completely unrelated. <sighs> in my wildest freaking dreams, chat, we did not pull that out. In my wildest dreams, we did not pull out a top three finish in the league. Chat. Season seven of the Journeyman will be in the Champions League. Whether it's with St. Detienne or another huge club that decides we look too damn hot to turn down, that remains to be seen. But season seven of the Journeyman will be in the Champions League of Europe for the first time. And that is it for today. We are gonna raid somebody, so stick around for that. We're gonna go make their day. But thank you guys for all the subs, all the love. Woozy, thank you for the 29 months. Joshy, thank you for the three. Casey McLean, thank you for the six months. Jay Paw, thank you for the prime. Chris Highwood, thank you for the 42 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Love you guys fist bump. Let's go find a raid. Let's dance our way into a raid. Chat, that was an awesome day. We won almost every game. The only match we didn't win the entire day in the league was the Lyon match. I'm looking for somebody we haven't raided before. Somebody we really, we can really go out and make their day. All right, I found somebody. Got him. You guys got the copy pasta. I see you out there. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. The video might be coming out tomorrow, and I'm serious. The video that might be coming out tomorrow might be the best video we've ever done. I haven't hyped it up nearly enough, but I will see you guys on stream tomorrow regardless. Have a good one. Freaking champions. Champions League. Are you kidding? Uh, word of the day, I'm getting it right now. It's called Invey. Invey. I N V E I G H. Invey is a formal word that means to protest or complain bitterly or vehemently, like its synonym rail. It's typically used with against. Students invade against the new dress code policy. All right. <laughs>